This is a Rogue Media Network podcast. Hi. Hello, and welcome to Boo Bays. Boo Bays, that's right. We're your hosts. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Joshua. And today we have a guest with us. Ooh. Hey. This is Thurman. I'm Thurman. Say, Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm I, wish, I wish we had like little claps in the pause. Yeah. <laughs> Someone edit that in, please. Yeah. <laughs> Put that in afterwards. That would be cool. We'll see if that, that happens. Um, but yeah, hi, Thurman. Hey. Welcome to the podcast. Yeah, thank you all for having me. Yeah. Uh, uh, unofficial Boo Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I uh so if you don't know me, you most likely don't. I am a <laughs> uh I'm a musician in the band The Fox and the Crow. I sing and I play and and uh anyway, reached out yeah. to these guys cuz I like their podcast. Nice. We like you. Yeah. So are you the lead singer? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. cool. That's I kind of figured you gave lead singer energy, <laughs> you do. What, what, but uh, what, I wasn't sure. Also, what do you play in the band? I play uh, acoustic guitar and I write the lyrics and okay. stuff. It's kind of just uh, it's me and my head being exposed to everyone and and my bandmates just kind of uh, join in for the ride and make it sound good. That's awesome. So, yeah. nice. <laughs> they it's get good. the vision. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they help you bring it to life. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. really nice. cool. That is really cool. Josh makes music Thank himself. You. Oh, sweet. Yeah. yeah. I haven't in a while. He made our um, theme song. I did oh, make our theme sweet. Song. That's um, awesome. But I have really been wanting to get back into it. Yeah, um, do it, man. It's really, um, music's been in my whole life. Like, my yeah. dad's a musician. He just mm-hmm. had a gig this past weekend oh, yeah. doing stuff. He's 75, and he's Heck still, like, yeah. rocking That's cool. And I didn't know your dad was a musician. Mm-hmm. Where yeah. have I been? <laughs> yeah. Not at his shows. Yeah. I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Aw. No. I, well, I wasn't either, unfortunately. I didn't oh, even know he had man. a gig. Yeah. We were, we were yeah. calling my... My mom called me and I was asking her, hey, what's dad doing? Oh, he's playing somewhere. And she didn't. I was like, oh, where's he playing? She was like, I don't know. <laughs> he just told me he had one. He left. So, yeah. Uh-huh. He was like, that's what he does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what he does. He just, he has his friends and it, it's, he was at one point like in three different brands. He's a bassist. And oh, he, okay. he, he dabbles oh, in a little nice. bit of everything. Um, he can like pick, he's like one of those people who can just like, he's an ear by ear mm-hmm. so you can just pick it up whatever oh, yeah. you throw at him um and so yeah that's what he does and so yeah he, he, that's really cool he should be out there rocking and rolling that's it's exciting. in your blood mm-hmm. i love it uh you know what else is in our blood horror horror <laughs> and uh terror ties in because we have family ties in this movie today yes we mm-hmm. do well um, kind of centered around the what was even their last name to be honest i don't know no clue no clue um I just we got have Kaylee and Timbo. 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 Um, I never even really cared too much to like pay attention to mom and dad's name. I just wrote mom and dad, whole movie. Um, as we see in my first notes, child, gun, dad, opening us up. But we're following, um, what are we, is a supernatural film uh, directed by Mike Flanagan. Um, yes. Who, who we are very familiar with because he's like exploded and creating so many new horror movies and uh, shows for us here. Um, like After the Haunting, Haunting of, Hill, of Hill, House. Hill House. House of Usher, Midnight Mass. Um, he directed Dr. Sleep, um, the Ouija movie. Have y'all seen Hush? By the mm-hmm. way? I've yeah, seen yeah, Hush. That, that's a pretty good Kate one. With Siegel. Kate Siegel as mm-hmm. well. Kate Siegel's in this. And she's also married to Mike Flanagan. Yeah. So that's fun. And let's I've see, we're you. also also we're doing Oculus, if yeah. you didn't read the title of the episode, <laughs> um, from 2013, um, but starring Karen Gillan from Doctor Who. Mm-hmm. That's what I know her from, first and foremost, but she's also in some Marvel movies. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. She plays Nebula. Yeah, Nebula. <clears throat> in those. And she's also in the newer Jumanji movies. Oh, oh that's yeah. where I knew her from. Yeah, 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 yeah. she's in those. So she's kind of like, she's like that face that you're like you almost like she's not like a big name but like you're like i've seen her like i know I've seen she's you in been something. in lots yeah yeah, yeah she has been, been in lots it's kind of like um i was watching something the other day it came out in like 2000 and like 
one or something. And Sarah Paulson, Paulson was in it. And she's like looking really like young and like, you know, like I was like, is that Sarah Paulson? And I was like, <laughs> dang, like, man, you don't realize how long these people like actually are, you yeah. know, been at it at the craft uh, before yeah. they, you before know, they take blow off. Up and yeah. Stuff. Yeah. And you think it's just overnight, but no, they've been having like sh- chicken shit rolls on like yeah. a, a sitcom. It was like a little sitcom and it was oh. like five minutes and that was it. She played man. someone's sister. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So grind. For sure. Um, but I'm glad got, she stuck to it. <laughs> yeah, it paid off for her. The killer's escaping. We've got Katie Sackhoff. Yes. Brenton Thwaites. That's the dude who plays Timbo. Timbo. Mm-hmm. And um, there's other people in there too, but I stopped after Kate Siegel. <laughs> it takes a village. It takes a village to make a movie. Did y'all notice it, it that? It actually has a really small cast. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's not, there's not m- many, like, much major other than like the... You know, like the boyfriend, fiance, and then the, mm-hmm. the police officers and stuff. Mm-hmm. But sorry, you were no, about to no, say. No, no, yeah. Did y'all notice that uh, the young, the young versions of the uh, characters, uh, the redheaded girl, was it Kaylee? What, what was the name? Kaylee K- was Kaylee, her name. Yeah. yeah. So uh, she was on New Girl. I was trying to uh, oh, oh, really? to rack my brain. Like, where is that young girl from? And it was from New I girl. recognize New the girl. boy. Like some wrong, some small. You know, yeah, I'll shoot little, one thing. Thing. yeah, cool. Uh, I've only watched New Girl through like season three. I, I've something. seen a few of it. Uh, I know it's really popular. Um, the and the young, I liked it. The kid actor who played young Tim, he's actually in Insidious Chapter Two. Oh, he plays mm-hmm. young Josh. Um, and then he's in Good Luck Charlie. I don't know, it's like it was a show on Disney Channel. Oh, yeah, uh, that was pretty popular for a while with Bridget Mindler. I don't know if you know, who yeah, she is. um, but he played like a little sibling too on that, so. Yeah, it's really funny when you recognize people from roles like that. Mm-hmm. I hope they're they're still acting, <laughs> yeah, getting roles somewhere. I don't know. I didn't recognize that little girl uh, from anything, but she was a pretty good actress. I think I just recognized her from this movie because I had yeah. seen this movie before. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> which I have too, actually. Was and have you seen this movie a bit? I hadn't seen this one. Uh, I've seen most Mike Flanagan stuff. Mm-hmm. Really, have enjoyed uh, his Netflix stuff mm-hmm. recently. But yeah, so um, good. So. Yeah, I, you kind of see this trajectory of Mike Flanagan where it's kind of like the, where he's finding his footing oh, and yeah. then uh, started making really good stuff. It definitely later. did have like Mike Flanagan vibes when I rewatched mm-hmm. it and like after having watched Haunting of Hill House and Haunting of Bly Manor and everything, I was like, oh, yeah, this is definitely Mike Flanagan. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I, I personally like it. But you didn't like it? No, I do like oh, it. Oh, you do like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I, I thought, um, I didn't realize that it was Mike Flanagan. And then when I saw Marisol and I was like, oh, that's Katie Siegel. Like, yeah. Or Kate Siegel. I was like, whoa. Okay. So then, um, I, it all made sense. And now that you're saying that too, like the style of even like how the ghosts were appearing and then they would like, yeah, it's very, yeah. very much that. Yeah. Um, he's, he's got a style and he sticks to it. He knows what he's good at. And he's crafted it well. Yeah, Exactly. Um, this is a Blum Blumhouse production and a mm-hmm. WWE production. Yeah. yeah, I saw that and I was like, "What the fuck?" That was my very <laughs> first note. Was WWE? Yeah, studio. that's like, mine what the too. Heck? I was like, "Question mark? Question mark? Question mark?" What? I wonder the hell? what other movies they've been able to produce. Yeah, that I know. Begs the question, and why or how? There or, was a like SmackDown in the middle when he takes the mom down. He has a choke holder. He had chokes holder out. Yeah, I was like <laughs> per request of WWE, <laughs> there had to be like, one <laughs> choke hold, one choke hold in the movie. See, that's the only part that, that was, they advised this, on. That was lit. <laughs> they were like, we have to have one choke, one wrestling move in the movie, please. Um, and well, they worked it in well. They um, did. It was very seamless. Very terrifying scene as well. Um, for anybody in that situation, especially the way the the mom was moving, um, mm-hmm. very more animalistic like, like yeah, and that's just like coming at you. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Uh-uh. Um. What were, didn't we just watch a movie? Oh no, I watched a movie. I'm sorry, I watched Smile Two over the weekend as well. Oh yeah. Um. Hopefully we'll get to cover that soon because I thought it was really good, and we've covered Smile One, so go listen to that episode, you guys. Um, yeah. But there was a lot of moments in that movie where it was like you don't see something, but you hear like the like running after oh, you oh, yeah. uh terrifying i like that yeah mm-hmm. yeah 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 that's spooky yeah uh i like that definitely was like kept me on the edge of my seat but um yeah well let's let's get into oculus right um we want to dive in yeah we get a simple title card to blah, blah, title card as we get some ominous music that's mm-hmm. happening um 
and we get okay I will say my notes the whole time I was writing this like they kept auto correcting to weird things or like I couldn't write properly I think it's our iPhones, I think the movie the new the I think new, the movie cursed me it's oh it's working <laughs> through it you're seeing things not as they are yeah exactly <laughs> yeah no I, I will say too mine are too mine are actually just if y'all look like mine are very more kind of one worded for this for yeah. the most part but so because it just depends on the movie some movies there I'm like got paragraphs for like one scene and then some yeah. movies it's like the one word can just, but this movie also was moving at a pace. Sometimes it so was so fast, fast. Yeah. In, in between the then and the now that at times yeah, I it was flashes like, between their childhood like, and word. then them and adulthood yeah. quite frequently. Yes. And then time they, starts slipping and overlapping. They plead together. Mm-hmm. And yeah. uh, again, it begs that question of like, what is time and is time linear? And I think they were slipping either through some sort of state of psychosis or what the mirror was making them see. But then they were like seeing each other. One, the other was an adult while the other was seeing like a child yeah, and stuff like so ghosts of themselves slash seeing the events play out in and real it, time again or what like it just was and it very much made me think of like haunting a blind manor mm-hmm. mm-hmm. in that sense um it really but, le- probably leaves it up to our interpretation which i feel like blind manor is the one that's all that. about time and love right mm-hmm. and the it's basically more yeah. of like a love story, it's a, love story. a ghost and kate siegel story. plays the lady of the lake yes mm-hmm. in it okay it's um, been, I haven't watched it since it came out. So um, all I know is that I have the same fireplace cover that they had <laughs> in that house that yeah, I paused it and I was like, oh my God, I have that. You would have it. Same with the clown from House of a Thousand Corpses. I have <laughs> one of the clowns that my clown piggy bank. Oh, that, that one, like yeah. puts, uh, you put the coin in his hand and then he brings it up to his mouth. Have we covered that? And his, no, we haven't. No, I was like, I don't think I've seen that. I'm oh, like, what? It's House good. of a Thousand Corpses? Is it a zombie movie? Yes. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Not it's a Rob Zombie movie. Oh, okay, got not but not but not a zombie, zombie movie. movie. <laughs> got it. Okay. Sorry. Well, God, I'm glad we cleared that up because I'd be really disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, where are the fucking zombies? <laughs> there are yeah. Zero zombies. Zero in zombies movie. in the zombie movie. <laughs> um no, yeah. I this movie definitely um I was confused at times a bit. And then also I'm, I think it's up to our interpretation because it's like, is it, is it like a slip of psychosis where they're, they're, they're not really seeing it's just like what they remember what they saw and they're just remembering it. But we, as the audience are seeing Seeing it that way or are they actually like seeing figments of themselves? Like that was, it was weird. Almost gives insidious vibes too, where they like see themselves in the past, but they're in the future. But it was them and they created the chain of events really the whole time kind of situation. And to kind of break beyond the fourth wall a little bit, I thought, you know, because I I had all these same thoughts going Mm -hmm. on. I was thinking, well, maybe it's just like an artistic thing Mm -hmm. and they're just drawing those similarities and they're wanting you to see that as the. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was kind of thinking. But I like the uh, I like the idea of reality and warping warping. and And well, I mean, we are messing with the supernatural demonic Entity, mirror, yeah, yeah, mirror that it could probably do definitely that. collects souls mm-hmm. over time because all the souls that come up in the end are like all the people that she names in the beginning that have been trapped. Yeah, because yeah. Marisol was one that they she definitely like pointed out, and she oh. showed up in that same version with the blood like from hemorrhaging and stuff like that on her gown. But um, yeah, I don't know. I think I think the mirror was manipulating their sense of reality. Yeah. And it's, I think that we were seeing what they were seeing mm-hmm. in it, my mind. But it could have also just been that, yeah, the movie wanted us to see that. But it seemed like they were interacting mm-hmm. enough yeah. Yeah. with their younger selves to. And then I think, yeah, I think the mirror was just major mind fuck. Mm-hmm. It really was. And it's more, and it's just like, unfortunately for anybody, because it's a, it's it's a proximity to curse situation. Because it's just whoever comes in contact with it, you're just kind of like, well, now you're in my trap, and mm-hmm. yeah. you're gonna get fucked up. Because to me, um, the movie, it's like they they really have no shot. What's well, one, it's really kind of sister's fault because she never got over it, and like they were free technically, but she went back to it, you know. Yeah. But um, 
I think but but the who's to say yeah her in. that the mirror never even like it was still luring her in from all that time you know it yeah. was still latched to her like a parasite but um they never stood a chance like they never stood a chance because oh, the yeah. way it works like they yeah. you couldn't tell and then also I just from the beginning I was like why don't we just like let the kill switch go yeah. already well like, we're not we're being right. manipulated yeah but yeah. It, it, the mirror works so well at tricking them this um, was a hard movie not to fall into solution finding right yeah, yeah. like yeah. the obvious answers are here but yeah. then it's like well we still gotta have to have a movie yeah, <laughs> yeah. we still got 45 minutes left right, yeah right, right. um but yeah um the movie starts off with one of the the flash of the kind of the the main what is that called? The main, the climax of what's happening with them when we right. get to the end of it. it kind of starts at the end, at the beginning. Yeah. With um, the Kaylee character seeing through a crack in the door and seeing her dad with a gun. And so obviously from, from the jump, we're getting something like something's not right in this home. There's a child, a gun, and a dad. Mm. It reminded me very much of Amityville Horror yeah. in this mm-hmm. uh, instance with, yeah, the kids hiding from a guy with a gun Papa. that we, we figure out is their dad mm-hmm. and um, some sort of evil entity too. You can kind of, I feel like there was a flash of one or something um, or maybe like the dad's eyes were glowing or something. Right. A little or gleam. maybe I was just remembering from the last time I had watched it. Yeah. Um, but I was like, this dad's not right. Something's going off from the get. And, but then the, everything happens and then it goes to shoot the gun. But then we see this time it's Tim holding the gun, Mm -hmm. uh, adult Tim. And, um, then we find out it was all a dream. It was all just a dream. Yeah. It was just a dream. Um, he is talking to his uh, doctor, right. And the psych, psych, uh, mental institution because. Yeah. uh, Some sort of psych evaluation going on. Come to find out that. Uh, Tim unfortunately had to be taken away this whole time and was just uh, being healed, you know, doctored, medicated Mm -hmm. and um, trying to get over through this trauma uh, because we come to find out that he he was basically blamed for everything. And uh, Tim really gets like the crappy end of everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Poor Tim. That like, was the. Uh, the I was, it was shocked it's that so they sad. even. It breaks your heart for like, him. Yeah. It, yeah. At the end and stuff, whenever like it's overlapping with what happened the first time and stuff, I'm like, y'all are arresting like an eight year old child. Yeah. <laughs> like, like immediately. Well, well, because the child's saying the mirror made me shoot my dad. Yeah. Like, I'm. Yeah. But I don't know. But I still mm-hmm. would have been like, like, I feel like they should have at least heard him out before just like hauling them off yeah Yeah. and been like you know kaylee could have said our dad was trying to shoot us yeah or something and then maybe they would have been like oh this was self-defense maybe he doesn't need to be locked away and stuff like that but justice sometimes is served swiftly and not thoughtfully yeah yeah (laughs) that's a really deep thought for me into this movie yeah Yeah. (laughs) and they needed him to be arrested and put into the psych evaluation for us to see the logical standpoint in this movie because tim very much is the voice of reason he's us he's the audience yeah out all the first half of the movie until his reality starts getting warped too and then it throws you into this like kind of almost shutter island situation oh, where yeah. you like know you, where you uh, get to the end of the movie and you're like i still don't quite know what happened like what was real yeah yeah I, it, it makes you question everything it makes you question like what even they were thinking was real or not and then their motives because even like when we get to the point where she you know chops off or hacks her, her michael it's like kind of, I thought even too for a minute. I was like, no way. Like, there's no way. No, it is not real. But then it was real. But then it's not real. And then it was real. You know then what I mean? It was real. Yeah. yeah. Like we go through those emotions also with them too, which is pretty good as you know for them to to make us go through that. But um, yeah. He he's we're he's talking to the doctor. We're getting to find out he's been there, uh, but he's going to be released, and his sister is going to pick him up. Um, and we we cut to her, and she is um at the auction already, right? Yeah. Yeah. She's at the auction where uh, she's overseeing this auction of what we come to learn is the Lasser glass. Mm -hmm. Um, And so it's basically been around for centuries and Mm -hmm. it is from 
like at least the 1700s or something. It's pretty old. And it was originally in like some Scottish household. And like some king or something. Where was it? Some czar? Yeah. Oh, it was. Some, some higher up guy. <laughs> yes. And, um, the bidding, they say, will start it at a modest $10,000. And I was like, oh, that's a lot of money <laughs> mm -hmm. for a giant ass mirror. Um, but it was the original mirror still intact. And it had some natural hazing that was happening to it, which mm -hmm. was really beautiful. It was a gorgeous mirror. Like it's the, I was sitting there thinking like, that's an ornate mirror. oh, damn, I would have this in my house. I'd and, buy it. Yeah. yeah. Like if I came across that and it wasn't $10,000. I would be like, mm, 60 that's bucks. coming home with me. So, and then it made me think about this one time. I stopped in a little town in between here and Houston, mm -hmm. in between Waco and Houston, and I stopped at this <laughs> antique store. That's such a big span. I'm sorry. That's such a big span of like, space. Yeah. Like, well, I forgot <laughs> the name of the little town. It's either Marlin or not Marlin. Because that one's closer to right. here, right? Yeah, yeah it's, it's like way closer. Minutes. Okay, yeah. It's yeah like not Marlin. Make it yeah, yeah, it's a... It's one of the ones before. <laughs> I love you, Kaylee, because it's like I stopped in a small town somewhere between uh, the East States and the West States. <laughs> well, I mean, there's not many towns in between. Like, Waco and Houston. Waco and Houston. It's a bunch of just farmland. Um, and yeah. so like little downtown towns that you pass through. You so pass like some through, random like, little. Three. Mm -hmm. And so. Is it giving a uh, Leatherface town? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh. Um, Solid. but it's one where I stopped in the antique store that was going out of business and the lady was like, there was this giant mirror, like mm -hmm. probably four feet tall, two feet wide, two and a half feet wide mirror. Mm -hmm. And she was like, you can have it for $30. And Dang. I was like, sold. I was like, back in my car up right now. Nah. Like this mirror is mine. She, put it in my she was was trying to get rid of that way too fast. <laughs> I know exactly. Yeah. And it made me think about that. And then I was like, has anything bad happened since I've got this antique mirror? And I mean, no, but is it a mirror that you look in often or is it somewhere? Well, right now it's in storage at the store mm -hmm. because it's so large that I can't mount it. Oh, okay. It has to I'd, like, I need like, yeah, mm. it's so a mirror. Um, because <laughs> be it's, it's like, it's heavy. Wherever you have it at in storage is like black mold growing around, around it. it. I know. Yeah. I was like, I was like, Oh my God. Have, I, is, it, is it like cursing the areas that I bring it to? Like, I don't know. Take it to your an enemy's house. But I don't yeah. want to part with it. <laughs> God, it's so cute. That's, a so, good That's why you let them take on the curse of it. It's a beautiful it, ornate mirror, too, with end. like a big gold frame. Mm -hmm. And it's very ornate. Yeah, and so gorgeous. it's really cool. And for $30, I was like, what the heck? You never find yeah. mirrors for that cheap. Is like mirrors are expensive. No, they are not ten thousand yeah. dollars expensive. No, but, but even just regular, like if you go to like Home Goods or wherever, like they're they're already not at like a. Yeah, unless mm. you're buying like a door mirror from Walmart that costs twelve dollars, and or they're something. like they break, even. they shatter yeah. so fast. Um, I've had many fall off. They're the so door. flimsy. Um, but yes, um, we have Kaylee picking up brother, and they're getting to reunite. And um, kind of, you know, go over um, essentially like he's, he's he's starting life over. You know, she's like, we got you an apartment. This is where you can stay. Mm -hmm. Although she's like, you know, I wish she would stay with me and my, you know, fiance. They're fiancés, right? Yeah. yeah fiance, Michael. Um, but he really kind of wants to do things on his own and figure things out for himself since he's, you know, kind of um, – He's got a new lease on life. Uh, yeah, and he's, he's never really been on his own mm -hmm. either. He's like, been kept at that hospital the whole time, or I'm yeah. assuming mm -hmm. he has, and just really been fostered in a way that um, he's really he's kind of just like almost like a baby. <laughs> he's literally like a baby just getting pulled Whoop. out into the world. Like, here you go. Here you yeah. go. Good luck. Um, don't lose it. Pat him on the back. And, Pack uh, him a sack lunch. They're um, talking over lunch and all that stuff. Um, is this where she's like, uh, I found it. She's yes. telling my yeah. I found the mirror. Yeah. Yeah. She says, I found it. And he's like, what? <laughs> yeah. And then she's like, don't you remember? Like, we have to keep our promise yeah. and kill it. Mm -hmm. And so she doesn't, exp 
Well, she does say that, like, I found it. It's in my control at the auction house. So you can gather that it's probably the mirror she's talking about. But I don't know if she ever explicitly says, no. like, the mirror. She doesn't. Um, But, yeah. And she and doesn't have to. And he knows. He knows, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. he's like. Blah. Then I think that's part of the reason why he's like, I think I'd rather stay at my own in place. Yeah. this hotel room for now instead of with you, because whatever you're doing is going to get me into trouble mm -hmm. and backtrack me years. Yeah. Timbo should have trusted his gut. I was feeling that my, actually like my first thought whenever I saw the sister and like how they're going to interact was like, she's an asshole. Yeah. Like, why, why is she bringing she's him into brash. this? Yeah. Very much so. Because it is. It's like he spent years trying to get over this trauma. Let's go right and, back to it. And let's literally take you right to the house, take you into the mirror. like Immediately. Let's test it all and see how strong you really are. Um, and uh, we, we get in uh, a flashback to 11 years prior. Um, and this is where we kind of officially get to like... Um, see like how how it all started when they were moving into the house yeah we mm -hmm. get to see the mirror moving in it's very hectic but it looks fun everything's light and airy still like the mom looks so sweet and yeah. like happy and she, it, well definitely relatively other she than looks the very stressed other than the move yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 as anyone is when moving but and then having later children the run film. around yeah she definitely <laughs> still seems like she's a happy woman, um, <laughs> yeah. not as like you said, as she is later in the film. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're just shooting little laser tag guns. Mm -hmm. And, you know, dad, we see already that dad is working lots and not really like helping too much. And mom's stressed and is like needing his attention, but he can't really give it to her. Mm -hmm. And so you can get a little bit of maybe some tension, but then yeah. they have a sweet moment where he, like they're talking about like th when the mirror comes in mm -hmm. and she's and like, she's like, Oh really? Like, Oh, you're, you, Oh, I didn't know you like bought up new change the furniture or whatever. Something like yeah. That. And yeah. she was like, were you going to wait till I see the visa bill? Yeah. And then he's like, Oh, well I told you I was okay with Ikea, but uh, you wanted all these antiques. And so I got some and I got you a three piece vanity to like smooth everything over. And so that made her lighten up and she yeah. was happy. And then she was, he was like new house, new move. Like we got to get some new furniture. And she goes, same old wife though. Huh? And he was like, I told you I was okay with Ikea. Yeah, it's definitely building up and playing on kind of tension and tropes that we know and like, oh, man, these people have been married for a while. They got kids. They're stressed out. He's working a lot, probably. He's trying to compensate with buying her some new stuff and she's feeling insecure because all she needs him to really do is just say, baby, I love you. You look beautiful, but he's not doing that. Yeah. Maybe there was some infidelity. We don't know why they moved here. We don't know what's going on from the past. Like, yeah. You know, so um, there's definitely a lot of stuff that are kind of layered in there that that already gives us like this mirror we know like feeds and harbors off of negative energy and so they're kind of already coming in with a little bit of it so the mirror is kind of like hmm i see that i'm gonna play mm -hmm. on that yeah. immediately it gets those tiny seeds of doubt yeah and then it exacerbates them and <laughs> <laughs> what a word <laughs> um and then uh we come we and then we get like cutting back in and out of um you know the the past and the present and i think she, what, she's dropping him off at his hotel place um yes. and he's trying to get him settled in and stuff and she's trying to explain to him um essentially like she i love how this whole time too he's very like <laughs> like his face yeah. like the whole time he's like huh like and he's giving her that look and she's like i want you to help and i want you to remember don't you remember like that promise you made to me and, and what yeah. we're gonna do um, he's very much like a you know newborn fresh on life yeah. like deer in the headlines maybe yes. of, like i've never experienced or he's playing any. dumb because yeah. he's like i don't maybe he was just like flabbergasted that yeah, this was yeah. happening yeah like, he's like, this is what you wanted to do like, like fuck seriously <laughs> yeah. right out the gate like yeah he can't even. I fathom. just got out. Let me like set my bags down before like was, you bring this up. I was really hoping for like a double cheeseburger or something. Right. Yeah. You know, like, let's go to an amusement park. Let me meet your friends. Oh, no, she doesn't have friends because she's been obsessed with, with the, mirror. the mirror the whole yeah. time. Yeah. 
um, which is also we come to see it's like affected her relationship because even with that little talk she has with Michael, obviously it's been affecting her relationship and stuff too. Um, but uh, they, do we cut back? Is, are they playing again? Their kids again? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are with the dad and mm. he's going downstairs in the middle of the night with the juice box. With the juice box. Yeah. Also and weird. It very much like what just happened to you with your water. Yeah. The just, dad sees a like entity yeah. there and the, he like squeezes, squeezes the juice box and covers himself in his drink. Yeah. And um, also, but it's unfathomable. No, because it's no, the weirder thing, the weirder thing to me. And it's, it's just facts, fact police trying to come into a horror movie is that I, the 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 juice box was in the fridge already with the straw. Was it like half drunk? Like I have nieces and nephews. They don't leave those suckers half drunk. They Sir, those things, down. they till they, they, so they're like oh, yeah. squeezed well, in Well, they have hands. like an ounce of liquid in them. You know? Right. Yeah. Exactly. It looked like it was a full amount like, that came out I was out like, this is shirt. a setup. But yeah. anyways, yes, he gets it on him. Kind of very, kind of like how I did. You're right. And then. Um, <laughs> Yours is all dry now, though. The, uh, and it was just water, not juice. <clears throat> It's a, it's so, this is first night too, right? Like that mirror. And we learned everything happened within like a two week time span. Right. But Mm -hmm. like, this is first night. So right off the gate, like the mirror is going to work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it shows him who we later, uh, know to be Marisol. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's Kate Siegel's character. I wonder why people had glowing eyes. Like that wasn't, was that explaining I missed it? So as I was viewing it, like, uh, so they weren't so much glowing as they were reflective. Reflective, yeah. yeah. That's kind of way I picked up. Okay, on that it. makes like sense. That they were yeah, yeah. mirrors themselves. Yeah. yeah, of all the light or the light of the life. Eyes are the mirror or window to the soul. soul. Yeah, um, and he goes into the office and he's kind of like in there, looks at the mirror a bit, um, and he 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 can tell like. It's funny, too, because I guess he doesn't I guess it's the the mirror's influence because he doesn't like spook or anything. He's not like, oh, my God, I just saw a ghost. He's just kind of like, oh, OK, like, yeah, whatever. He's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's drawn to the mirror. Yeah. And I think at this point, I don't know if the whispering is like exactly started yet, mm. but there's something about this mirror that's like drawing and almost sedating him yeah. and like or seducing him. Yeah, like very it does. Much that. It's it's definitely like breaking down his walls and making him feel at ease. And the way that the um, but also fit, stressed. No, at the same time. Right. It's anxiety inducing the way um, they also kept the shot on that mirror just lingering a little bit longer. So, mm-hmm. you know, like this, this mirror, something's wrong with this mirror. Yeah. This, yeah. this is going to cause some problems. I was expecting something to like. Show up in the mirror. Yeah. yeah me too, honestly. And um, nothing did in that even moment. Even better. Even better. The, yeah. The suspense. Fakes um, you out. Mm-hmm. Um, and a little horror edging. <laughs> <laughs> that, is it next day and the kids are playing? Because I, I swear. No, no, no. The, she's having a nightmare. She's having, yeah. Kaylee's having her nightmare. Yeah. We're yeah. back with adult Kaylee. She hears her dog barking at something. Mm. Um, but I don't think she even really has a dog. It's but just unless like, it's dog who she gets later. But I I mean, it's all in maybe. her dream. So it's yeah. probably what was the dog's name? From was the it? childhood? Yeah. Um, bingo. No, I'm just no it was like no. Mason. <laughs> no, I think so. Oh, yeah. Honestly. That's right. yeah that's it, right. was it was Mason. Yes, it was. Yeah. Um, the dog Mason. So I'm assuming that's who is barking in her dream, though. And she gets up out of bed. She goes down and to the. Uh, office area where the mirror is Mm -hmm. and she opens the door and like we don't know that she's like back in her old house yeah like i mean at first i thought this wasn't a dream yeah i thought she was in the actual home as well but she's like she was really experiencing it Mm -hmm. and yeah and that she just had the mirror already yeah I was also saying, like, why is she living there? Like, what? That's crazy. But yeah. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Um, but she goes down. We get this super cool shot from above the mirror as she approaches the mirror. And so, mm-hmm. like, all you can see really at first are her feet. And then you can see most of her body and then just her head from, like, the actual perspective. Um, and then it was it was really cool. Yeah. I like that shot a lot. I thought it was neat. Um, 
there were quite a few cool shots in this, yeah. in this movie. I also liked when like she was hugging her mom through the mirror. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool shot. Yeah, I always think mm-hmm. about the uh, like the actual logistics that go into filming something like that. Mm-hmm. If they're doing it practically or mm-hmm. if they're doing it. Just no, there's yeah. so much in there. So much science and so yeah. much like maneuvering and the uh, illusion, like tricking us into seeing what's not even happening for real. Yeah. Um, and but oh, then something the happens <laughs> at the mirror, right? Because um, she oh she turns around yeah. and her dad is oh, there and chokes her, starts choking her, and then it's like ah, it's a pretty good jump scare, and then she wakes up obviously like you know thrashing, out and of screaming her bed. in bed. Yeah. Um, which uh, night terrors, you know, if you've uh, if you've been in a long term relationship um, with a woman, you will know that they do not sleep in clothes like she was wearing. <laughs> I thought that was absolutely crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even, re- down, I like, didn't even re- look at what she was wearing, to be honest. But it was a very like sexy, cute mm, night. Like, so it's not a 12 year old T-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. The yeah. Boxers yeah. or something. Yeah, that's very mm-hmm. true. Um, and. She has that nightmare he need, and then, you know, needs consoling and stuff. And then, which I've had night terrors before. So, like, mm-hmm. it was totally believable when she's like flailing and like yeah. screaming. Yeah. Oh, I've um, had plenty you wake of out night of it terrors that way. too. Yeah. Of where I've like scared partners and stuff <laughs> when yeah. they're like, what is going on? <laughs> Demons attached yeah. to this chick. Um, but then <laughs> I we, just signed up for, yeah, I know. It's like it has happened on like, the first, first night. night before <laughs> and they're like what did i get into <laughs> <laughs> it's it, i feel like that triggers it that's happened to me yeah but i feel like it's because you're not used to someone there yeah um but we have um her it's the next day right she's at work and she's at the storage place wherever they keep this mirror yeah <laughs> and she her well she her fiance comes up to oh, her at work that's right and she's Explaining to him that he just ne- she just needs a few more days and then mm-hmm. everything's going to go back to normal. Um, but he had confronted her about these like crime scene photos. Yeah. And was it clear yet that this is her significant other in the in the movie? Because I was thinking like, why is this guy digging through a crap? Oh you know? yeah. yeah. I, but yeah, keep going. Uh, they had kissed no, earlier. Yeah. Okay. In, yeah. At was... the auction, they had kissed. Yeah. Um, but okay. if you were like writing a note, it happened yeah, so fast. I just that missed it. Mm-hmm. You missed it. I was it. like, why is he digging through stuff? That's a yeah. weird boss move. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like they must be really good friends. Yeah. yeah. No. And yeah. he was just like what the hell like why are there these crime scene photos in all of your like in your computer and Mm -hmm. stuff and it's still very intrusive um but i guess she had accidentally sent them to like other people to print off files and Mm -hmm. then they were included in there like in between and so like some people were like i'm just trying to print a document and yeah. then all of a sudden they've Something got the someone queue. murdered yeah Oof. being printed out and they're like what the fuck that raises some suspicions especially i guess if you're looking that up on company time on the company computer like yeah. what are you doing yeah yeah um they they might have a bit of a uh some what's it called they they might have reason to to check in but also because it's his girlfriend and and he's trying to ask her about it and i love how like she ignores it but then he's like honestly i'm just still waiting for an answer about the like crime scene photos yeah Yeah. she just like brushes right past she's like okay yeah (laughs) it goes on to something else and she does that really well as like Mm -hmm. an actress she does like i've seen she kind of does that in other movies too like she's very like able to like like I don't know. I don't know what it is. Com- communicate that with her face. Yeah, yeah, opposed. yeah. yeah. Act it out with her face very Be well. Be very dismissive. And um, and she, uh, like you said, needs just a few more days and everything will go back to normal. Everything will be fine. Um, she acknowledges that. She knows that things have been kind of weird lately. Um, but then he's just kind of like, okay, it's sweet. Cool, babe. I'll see you for dinner. Um, and then we have her going in to check with the mirror with the dude who's like a what's like the transporter guy who was yeah. overseeing yet. Yeah. I guess he she works with him a lot because mm-hmm. they had some sort of rapport. Um, but they yeah, she is in there, she uncovers the glass and it's like the mirror 
and yeah. says hello again and kind of starts talking to it. Because like it's the its own entity person yeah. situation. Yeah. And like gets down to where there was the only like they noted in the auction, the only like flaw or blemish on this mirror was a small crack in the right hand bottom corner. And um, she's like, I hope this still hurts. Mm hmm. It's very like my precious. The uh, opposite. I was thinking at this time that she was gonna like accidentally cut herself <clears throat> on it and like blood was going yeah. to get into oh. it. And um, but anyway, that, I was wrong. Cool. But I was like that, that would have been a cool element, you know. It's like taking a part of her with it as well. Yeah. Or it's like an ensuring like, nope, I got you now. Like yeah. you, you are mine. We got a blood pack. Blood pack, yeah, exactly. Mm. But this was a very creepy scene mm -hmm. because we have some um it ends up being like a bust of the Mona Lisa and then uh, something else. Uh, like, yeah, like a bust of Michael or uh, something. Something, I don't know. George Washington, Paul Revere, I don't know. And, <laughs> Two busts. Uh, yeah. One was a feminine figure and one was a masculine yeah. figure. And, uh, but, 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 but they're all masked at first. And there's only two. Yeah, there's yeah. only two. Yeah. But at a certain point, there is a third one in the mirror. And, and we're it like, moves. Yeah, and then it moves. Then they all kind of move. And so she goes to inspect it. And I love how she takes off yeah, the other two. Yeah, because it was two. very creepy at first because mm -hmm. she's looking in the mirror. We see three and you don't think anything of it. Um, cause it, it just looks like a sheet ghost, yeah. like yeah. Mm -hmm. with the sheet mm -hmm. just hanging over what looks <clears throat> like a head. And, um, the third one moves. And then, so she looks back behind her in real life, but there's only two there. And then she looks back in the reflection again and, and then three. the three are back again. Mm -hmm. And then the other two move. Yeah. And so that's when she goes to inspect. And this time when she turns around, the third one's actually there. Yeah, really Which creepy. Which was wild. And when she gets closer and is un revealing them, and then like, I don't know if it was just me, it kind of did look like that middle one was kind of like, like a little small breaths or something were kind of yeah. moving. It was like, yeah, it was really scary. I'd be freaked out. And the way it was taller, wasn't it? The yeah, it was one? taller than the other ones. Yeah, it's like almost like giving like, and I feel like that's even like scarier, standing like standing high and like, like right eye with level. you. Yeah, mm -hmm. like if you were to take it off, it'd be looking like directly <laughs> at you. Um, it could eat your face. And uh, her dude, her friend who's, you know, helping her out at work pops up just in the nick of time and like, you know, is a good jump scare. Scares her, scares us, the audience. And then... Yeah, because she uncovers one mm -hmm. then uncovers the next and she's just about to reach for the third when warren is his name mm. approaches and it's a little jump scare like you said and she's like god damn it warren mm -hmm. she doesn't say god damn it but <laughs> <laughs> she's a lady and doesn't say the lord's name in vain no no and then uh we see that the mirror does the what's it called again the satin glass the satin glass glass Satin glass. Satin glass. <laughs> the lasser glass um, is getting loaded up into her vehicle. Uh, I'm assuming it's a vehicle, a transportation vehicle. And then um, that's whenever we cut to. It's she, just wild she, that she brings it back to the original home. Oh, yeah. Home. Also, how Like did, she could have done something in a remote controlled location. And I wonder they, how she even got the whole house, like how she got or is so, it? So, OK, so we, they explain it a little bit Okay, my because bad. whenever she gets back in it, I was like, I guess this house just stayed in their name the right. whole time. Yeah, yeah. Um, but she said she's explaining to Timbo at one point whenever and, she's doing the mass explanation of everything. Yeah. yeah. And okay. she's like the house sat on the market for a little bit. And then she was like, once I graduated high school, I just, I guess with her half of the estate, yeah, just bought, bought the house. Okay, got it, and, got it. I must have missed that. Um, she was like, yeah, I was the only freshman yeah. with the house, mm -hmm. not living in the dorms of college and stuff. And then. Because um, I was very confused by that, too. I was like, how do they conveniently oh. <laughs> still have access to this house? <laughs> And then uh, she ends up getting to uh, – she calls uh, Timbo, right? And she's like, I need mm -hmm. you to come by the house. And he's like, what house? And she's like, the house. Did I jump too far ahead? Um, no, but we did – we do have a flashback to their child. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. And Cause yeah, then she it's says the come by to the house. Yeah, because yeah. then and, we get that flashback. And it's again, they're in the childhood. And we this is where we first hear the whispering. Mm -hmm. So dad is now hearing some whispering from the mirror. 
And then they're going outside and they're playing with their laser tag gun still. Mm -hmm. And um, she goes and hides in front of the office window. When she looks back, she sees some lady like behind her dad and like feeling him up Mm -hmm. and stuff. And she's like, what? And then it gets the whole moment gets broken whenever she gets shot with the laser gun Mm -hmm. and her chest piece starts going like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> I always wondered those when I was a kid I never got to have one. Oh, mm-hmm. I did have one. That's fine. I'm happy for you. Yeah. That's cool. It was really good. Yeah. They were a lot of fun. What? It was either mine or it was a friend's and yeah. I just like stayed at that friend's house a lot. For an amount of time. Yeah. yeah. We always played with them. Yeah. They're cool. Um, did they last long? I feel like you'd have to charge it and you only get like one hour I feel out of like it. I remember them lasting long. So I got some for my son oh, yeah. to play with. And of course it was partially for me. In yeah. The, in <laughs> eight. And uh, yeah, they actually last a really pretty long time. I, That's I cool. guess they okay. just use a lot of powers. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, I don't remember. I was like, maybe we got bored before they could die. Like, there's only so many times you can hide That's and shoot true. each other before it's like, okay, let's do something else. Christmas is coming up soon. Okay, I'll get you a laser tag set. <laughs> a, little, a little hint there. Um, tell Andrew. No, tell Andrew. Okay. He'll give me a really nice. He will. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, and we are, yeah, she's, obviously that was a big kind of like scratching, perfect timing, scratching head moment for her and seeing her <laughs> dad in there. And then we are now flashing back to the present day and she's at home setting, um, base, getting everything set up. Um, for the experiment did timbo already come in here yeah he's already here yeah i think he's Mm -hmm. coming in and she's Mm -hmm. explaining everything and then Mm -hmm. we also did have one little scene of her asking about the woman in the office to the mom and the mom's like like, what lady in the office and the dad's like doesn't even acknowledge it he's just like like, because yeah they're at the dinner table and he's like biting his nails and we already see that that's why he's gonna now have a a little Band-Aid over it. Band-Aid over it later. Mm-hmm. But yeah, he's bitten so far into his nails that it was bleeding. It was really bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, I used to bite mine like that. Ouch. And uh, he goes and she's like, Dad, who is that lady in your office today? And then the mom's like, yeah, who was that lady in your office today? Still kind of joking. and But mm-hmm. also like, what the fuck is she talking about? Yeah. And then that's when he finally goes like, what are you talking about? And the no, there's no lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, but then we're back in the house and she's rigging everything up. She's basically got the whole house rigged to try to like kill the thing. Yeah. Or at least protect them in some way. Like each room has thermostats attached to it. And um, to like if there's any degree of fluctuation in temperature, they'll know. Mm -hmm. And they're setting up like all the timers and she's. uh, Yeah, she's got like five timers. And for everything once. So there's for eating, for water, and then for making sure to, uh, you know, reset that kill switch. Yeah, with Um, the yacht anchor. Which I kind of wish they had dived into that a little bit more because they Mm -hmm. do kind of break down all of the victims later on and like how they died. But I, I don't know, me wanting more, like, yeah, I want to see, like, more how lore. does it starve them and how does it dehydrate them? You know, there's a lot but, of mystery left. Yeah. To I it. think yeah. part of it is, is that the person becomes like so obsessed with the mirror that they forget to do those things. They lose track of time. Right? Yeah, they lose track of time and they like forget to feed themselves, forget to drink. Like because one of the deaths, the lady died of dehydration. Mm-hmm. But she was and, in a tub. But she was in a tub. And then the other deaths were very brutal. Um, but um But, like, later on in the movie, we see, like, that the dad, once the mom is, like, incapacitated and stuff and Mm -hmm. chained up, uh, we see, like, that the dad's not filling the fridge with food and stuff because I think he's, like, so absorbed in the mirror that he's not thinking about. He literally is, like, when he's even in his free time, he's just there in front of it looking at it. Yeah, just staring at it. He just wants to be around it. Um, And it's, like feeding him but also like sucking his life force at Mm -hmm. the same time i think no i I I feel like that's i like that no that theory makes sense to me too as well because it it is very much like it's it's needing him 
and the negativity that he's bringing to it and also just his life worse but also at the same time it's like transferring that same energy energy almost in a way it's bringing out it's it's exacerbating all those negative and bad qualities in him and like bringing out all the nastiness and to where like even when he starts talking to the kids he's like your snot nosed brother you know and he's like yeah. he obviously is like not their loving father yeah. anymore who cares about them yeah mm-hmm. and again very amityville horror like the whispering is telling him to do mm-hmm. certain things and then that would he subsequently do. kill his family yeah mm-hmm. and acting out in ways like whenever he calls her uh um fucking like f- fat cow or something mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. grotesque grotesque cow, cow. Mm-hmm. yeah so i thought that was a interesting choice of words <laughs> it's a mouthful yeah that would that really would get to me really though, thought about too. it <laughs> yeah yeah he, yeah, he really... marinated on that one was like this is gonna break her down yeah and that would have i would have been like what <laughs> mm-hmm. that would have made me like spiral so for weeks yeah but we get her setting up everything and uh explaining to tim what everything is and he's like what the fuck is this thing on the ceiling and she's like oh that's a yacht anchor yeah. uh weighted with like 20 more pounds of weight and yeah. we're gonna put the mirror right there and so that way if anything happens to us It'll automatically go off and kill the mirror kind of thing, which, again, logic police, like, why not just do it immediately? immediately? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or at least try. Yeah. And then, like, see if the mirror, like. (laughs) 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 No, because also the who's to beg, like, even if they were to let it go and no human being was in front of it, would it even crack it? Would it even break it? Like, Like, it somehow stops right before or something. Right, because it obviously we do see later on that that mirror has some sort of like it's able to shoot like a force of wind at the mom later yeah. on you know and when they go to smash it with the golf clubs like they go like the other way right. sideways they like it's got some it. sort of force field so i guess she was relying because it's like a mechanism and not a human being that it wouldn't be able to manipulate it and right. then it yeah. would just do what it it's gonna do but um yeah who's to say we and it's we don't have many like key details or information of the mirror um, probably for that fact. Otherwise, we'd be like, mm, but the world book says about the yeah. mirror. That, yeah. You know, um, and so we I, I think what she's they're going over through all that shit. He, and this whole time, he's just kind of like, oh, my God, <laughs> like, you're crazy. Crazy. Like, oh. I go back in the mental asylum. Yeah. <laughs> Literally <laughs> deal with some Fuck. sane people. <laughs> he's like, you need help. Because, but. I mean, she later tells him, too. She's like, you had to go bat shit to get out of there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because and. And he's like, she's like, what the what? fuck are you talking about? Like, you're the bad shit The one. whole time she's like, yeah, they, they really did a number on you, huh? <laughs> yeah. Like, damn. Let's go they, chase this ghost they brainwashed you. <laughs> yeah. And then, because she sounds crazy, right? Delusional. And then I love, and then I love how after all that, she's just like, I don't know if a timer goes off or not, but she's like, let's eat. Like, we got to make sure Oh, to yeah. Eat. A timer does go off. Yeah. And she, um, yeah. But we get, they set the scene for us too. We get that it's 4.15 p.m. on October 13th. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she's going, she, this is where she starts going through the deaths. Mm-hmm. And we get that there have been 45 deaths uh, attached to this mirror in the three centuries of existence that it's had. That's a lot. Um, and she's going through the history when she gets a phone call. And so we learn that she has told her fiance, Michael, to call every hour to check in on the hour. Mm-hmm. So that way she can know it's him and stuff like that. Uh, well, she doesn't tell him that part specifically, but she's like, please just try to call. Cause she was like, you're seven minutes past. Yeah. Uh, so try to call on the hour next time. And, and, and I guess that's the way that she would know. But even to me, I'm like, her own rules later or it's like with the within close the rules range are out the window yeah like, like when you're close to the thing like you don't know who that could be and even later she's like 50 50 it's him or not but like so like i don't even from the get-go i guess it's just her being this? extra measures of safety i guess but i'm just like that just seemed like unnecessary because it was that just honestly brought michael into it and now he that's the whole reason why he probably shows up later because she didn't answer when he she she, she missed the call on the yeah. hour mm-hmm, you know and so he shows up instead of calling the police like she told him to. Mm-hmm. She because she hangs up the phone and she's like, I told him to call the authorities if anything, like if we, we don't, don't answer. answer. Yeah. Um, 
But she's going through the history. We learn that someone, a lady dies of dehydration, like while in a tub. One lady drowned her children in a cistern, saying that she thought she was just putting them to bed whenever she locked them in the cistern. Mm -hmm. And then she took a hammer and just like smashed all of her bones to pieces, except for her right arm, because she needed that arm to wield the hammer. <laughs> um and she's just describing very horrific, horrific yeah. deaths, like one person burned alive. Right. And mm -hmm. like was found like charred to a crisp and all very horrific deaths and all deaths that are like made made to not look like suspicious of the mirror, essentially, like they all died in some other way or like almost like a natural way or something a weird way still but like not cause freak accidents freak accidents yeah, yeah very like final destination yeah you know, where they're just like well damn like uh, yeah um, and she also brings up that all these people had dogs mm. as well and that the dogs were never found they get stuck away by the mirror yep and that's why she a brings really dog in later concept there. yeah no, it really is. Um, because at this point, wonder, Mason walks by the door, mm -hmm. the old childhood, the golden lab does. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> she watches him mm -hmm. and she kind of spaces out for a second. Um, and yeah. No. Yeah. I think what, like, would the same thing happen? Like, what if these people had a cat? Like, would the cat get taken or is it just like, you know, only, I only eat dogs. Just dogs. Living only, and only dogs. No. Yeah. Right. Well, and then that's also the thing with the plants, right? It's sucking the life force from the plants. And that's yeah. why the plants. So maybe anything that's alive, I guess. I don't know. Someone had a hermit crab. Their hermit crab yes. would like <laughs> might be enough. Hermie's not moving. Oh, literally, <laughs> Hermie's like <laughs> <laughs> literally demonic Just hermit crab. That's funny. Um, and so then we have um, – where are we? Where are we go? Where are we at? Well, she sees the dog walk past, oh, yeah. and then this is where he starts. Tim starts being like, "Maybe you're just fucking crazy." Yeah, maybe because she he's like, "You didn't have a good dad, support system." Yeah, and our dad was just he was hurting and took it like he was a sick man, and he took it out on us and mom and. Like just had an affair and just decided to, you know, yeah. do these things. Like, yeah, it's not some mirror that was influencing him, essentially. Uh, really trying to discredit her and discredit, like, well, I mean, and to, to his own, like, defense, fault, whatever. Like, I mean, he's literally been radically, like, he has been brain brainwashed into thinking all of that was, like, you made that up. Like, it was a figment. Yeah. Like, y'all were just trying to cope with all the bad things that were happening. And I'm sure some part of him, like, because ghosts can't buried possibly all of be that. Real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he was, like, gaslit into mm -hmm. believing that none of what he experienced was true. Mm -hmm. And so much to the point where, yeah, he actually believed in himself. And then, like, as we saw from the... Like the doctor, even in the beginning, whenever he's like, and it was me holding the gun and the doctor's like, well, this is you taking responsibility for what happened. For what you it's did. It's no longer, yeah, it's no longer your dad holding the gun or I'm assuming it was always the dad in the yeah. dream holding the gun. It's the mirror. It's an interesting parallel. <laughs> yeah, the mirror. It's yeah, just it's the mirror. Very, like Beauty and the Beast. Oh, it's walking. like, got it. It's got a little arm. Come here, come here. <laughs> <laughs> There's an interesting parallel to be drawn between the kind of washing of reality from the doctor's perspective mm -hmm. and the mirror's uh, altering of reality as well. Yeah. To say, you know, this is the human alteration of this weird in-between world it's, whatever it's like two sides of the same coin yeah essentially almost you know mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. and then and then you got the sister too because she's like no this really happened and the doctor's like this happened and the mirror's like hold up hold up everybody let me um, let me let me let me do my thing you put my fingers in it. <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> um and uh, does, has mason gotten sick yet and attacked mom um i don't think so no. yet um but yeah, basically, she, uh, Kaylee is like, dad wasn't a murderer. Mm -hmm. Dad wasn't this bad person. And she intends to prove that none of the people that she, he just described were guilty of their actions. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is where we get that she manually has to reset that kitchen timer to prevent the anchor from falling. Mm -hmm. um, 
and then basically saying like if we die no matter what the mirror will still be destroyed like because it'll go off in 30 minutes anyways Yeah. yeah um but then we're back with dad in a flashback, and this is where he takes his Band-Aid off, mm-hmm. I think. Oh, yeah. Did yeah. I miss anything? No, I think that's it. Uh, okay. The only there. note I had is that anchor is going through someone's head. Oh, oh uh, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> called it. A heck of a foreshadowing there. Cause yeah. He definitely anyway. called it. Because it definitely does go through someone's head. Spoiler alert. Yeah, sorry. You oh, know, no. Cut we, that we're cut full that. of spoilers. <laughs> no, no. We, <laughs> we go yeah. full spoiler every time. Every time. But we still like to say spoiler alert. And um, it's really crazy, too, because, like, I just I just really wish, like, why wouldn't she's like, hey, come over. All right. Let's let the timer for five minutes. Let's walk outside right now across the street and we'll just. Yeah. And we'll go back and get uh, in the car. Never drive off. Back. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, let's drive away. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they, they, they don't do that. No, they don't they at don't. all. But, dude, dad, he's in his office. Yeah. What's he and doing, Caitlin? He takes off his Band-Aid because I guess it's causing some hindrance to him typing and mm-hmm. stuff. Um, but then as he goes and starts typing again, we real, he realizes that the bandaid is back on his finger and then he looks where he dropped the bandaid previously and it is no longer there. And so he's like, what the hell? And so he starts trying to pull it off and it's just not coming off. Mm -hmm. And so he gets the bright idea to grab a staple puller and, (laughs) Because like, even if you were to like get that, it would just rip, shred through that bandaid. It wouldn't, yeah, pull, it wouldn't it off. pull it he's, off. He's not a great problem solver. No, no. <laughs> and um, he ends up ripping off his own nail with the staple puller, yeah. thinking that he's ripping off the bandaid. He and he's so nonchalant about it. Whenever he's just like, he goes, "Ow!" Yeah, and then he's like, "Okay," <laughs> yeah. and just goes back to doing yeah. shit. What he's just like destroyed his yeah. finger. Like he ripped off you see the whole nail. Yeah. And it's just it's that gross. squishy part underneath. <laughs> just the squishy it's part. It's just the squishy Ooh. part. It's like whenever so um, gross. <laughs> Mr. Krabs is molting. Oh that's yeah. That's exactly what that's it's what like. it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so and then like you said, it's it's just really because I guess the mirror also has just got its grips on him. He's not like, oh my God, what the fuck did I just do or whatever, you know? Um and it's also there's that and then like the, the scene where she's got the apple light bulb part like there's kind of a bit unsettling unsettling sometimes mm. even the final blow to her they, they do really good at like the the sounds yeah the sound the, engineering like squelching. the squelching like sounds wet a little yeah. bit yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and her like ragged breathing and stuff oh, yeah. too yeah. like and her squirming Ooh. yeah um all of it and uh then this is whenever like does he hear he's hearing voices and then yeah, and then he calls the kids down because mm-hmm. he's like, I told y'all, stop playing in here. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then we see that there's a bunch of books like unfolded or yeah. opened and like leading up to the mirror, mm-hmm. like a little pathway. Mm-hmm. And he's like, don't lie to me. Like, I hear y'all playing in here at night. Mm-hmm. And they're like, what the fuck? They're like, you literally don't. Come you in literally here. told us not to go in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That happens multiple times um, where they're like, you told us not to go there. And then he's like, I want you to come play video games in here. Later yeah. On, right? And they're like, what? <laughs> you literally just yelled at us the other night. For being in here. Yeah. When we weren't. What do you want from us? Yeah. Um, and then my notes here kind of jumped a little bit. We're next after this. I think they flash back to being in p- person and we figure out that the thing feeds on plants and animals Yeah, mm-hmm. and um oh dog and she yeah gets dog and she places dog in front of the um mirror and like covers like puts a little shroud over it and um she's like explaining like all the plants are soon gonna die and it'll take dog and <laughs> um stuff like that D-O-G. It's, it's my, that, that's my what she was had calling a, him, right? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah dog. it was just dog. Yeah, she didn't need Which that was she a Boston a, Terrier, and yeah. it was a very cute little, little dog. Yeah, baby. it was. Yeah. I was like, no, don't don't hurt the dog. Poor doggy. thing. But, um, my parents had a dog named D-O-G. D-O-G? D-O-G. Yeah. But it stood for something, didn't it? 
No. Oh, okay. Just D O G. Well, was for named, dog. Yeah. But like you would say D O G. D O G. D O G. Yeah. Oh, yeah. D O G. Like it sounds kind of almost like like D O like G like, like D E O G E E. Like it sounds like. But it was just they. It was just spelled like dog. A, like Atari, <laughs> but D O G. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. And then there's Dochi, a rapper. So that's kind of cute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They had Dochi and then we had Dutchie once I was born. Dutchie? Dutchie. We had Dutchie one and Dutchie two, which is like pretty weird of them to name we, a dog the same as the first dog. Well, did you ever have a mama cat? Everybody has a mama cat. Uh, we yeah, had a mama cat. We, we had, had like three mama cats. Mama cat. And- yeah. That's it. Describe uh, the, mama cat. What do you mean? It's like just, a mother cat? Or like, yeah, it's because we would have mama so cat. many, because she kept having babies. Oh, she just kept okay, having litters. You, gotcha. And then, and then, because it was just one stray cat that ended up just living at our outside now. She's our outside cat. And that's mama cat, because she would always have babies. And then yeah. they just kind of would disperse everywhere. Yeah, uh, and go that, find that, homes or die. Literally, probably. Um, Don't we all? Yeah. Sometimes, <laughs> somehow. We, How we it all way. works. Um, but yeah, so she's going to sacrifice dog. Mm. That's her plan anyways. And then we flash back to the, after she says that it like feeds on plants and animals and stuff. Then we flash back to the parents, I Mm -hmm. think. And this is where we get the husband calling her a grotesque cow. Yeah. Yeah. They're arguing. We can see that the like mirror is definitely doing its thing and creating distant distance. It's driving a wedge them, which, yeah. between the parents. I had a for thought sure. here that maybe uh, he actually didn't say grotesque cow. Oh. Yeah, and maybe there was like an um, all, already some uh, reality alteration, like where she's oh, hearing she it. Hears yeah. That. yeah, I also thought that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure. You know, yeah, he might have because I mean, later on, he really does say like your snot nosed little brother. Yeah, which was fucking rude. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> please never like... talk to your children that way, people. Um, but but you're right; it could be altered. Like, and that's just what the mirror wanted her to hear, so yeah. she would feel like that planting seeds. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she's already we've already like talked like and most women have like women naturally carry more fat in their lower abdominal area for the birthing process Mm -hmm. and stuff like that and to protect all their uterus and stuff like that and so most women are self-conscious like myself included about that lower abdominal area and we already got a little bit of her especially with her c-section scar Mm -hmm. That plays heavily into it. Yeah, talking about like, you know, I feel like my scar is more prom- like pronounced than normal and um, like than it was 10 years ago whenever I had the babies. The babies, yeah. yeah. And um, she's just, it's already kind of there. And then, you know, that mirror plays on it. Very much In so. that instance, I think. And it's very. It's, and then it, plays on it later whenever. We have her whole scar scene. Oh, yeah. That's sick. It's really making her feel like crap, making her feel shitty. Um, And especially when we're already planting those seeds of, like, the mirror even is, like, making it seem like he's having an affair and shit. And so that's not helping in any situation. Um, Yeah, like, because then she's thinking, like, well, did he get, like, a new upgraded version? Like, mm -hmm. not Ikea Mm -hmm. furniture version? He got you know, something fancy. And, and so, yeah, she's definitely, the mirror's playing on a lot of the natural, like insecurities, insecurities. Yeah. A woman would have. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, but then this is where Mason, the dog Mm -hmm. is losing his mind at the door of the office. And, um, just like barking oh yeah and so then she's like you know what you want in there so bad go in there then go in there and then locks him in or doesn't intend to lock him in it just locks the The, door locks locks. yeah yeah and she goes back and we get a young like kaylee and tim sitting there in front of the door when dad comes home and they finally he unlocks the door and mason's just gone Mm -hmm. and um then this is where they go back into like this is where like reality really starts shifting Mm -hmm. and stuff because (laughs) they go back to like present day and she says none of the animals were ever found and he tim's like 
the dog had probably like, have you ever heard of Parvo? Mm -hmm. Like the dog probably had Parvo. He was sick. It, that can kill plants. And then we okay. got, that's what he said. Oh, I think he said like, <laughs> what is something along the lines of like, it makes him pee or yeah, yeah. vomit. Or and like, like, I think their pee, like probably uh -huh. is okay. like poisonous at the that enzymes. point. Yeah. Yeah. And it kills plants and, makes him get sick and vomiting because he was like remember how mason was in his last days like mm -hmm. he was just throwing up everywhere like we even saw the mom like scrubbing up something on the carpet mm -hmm. which i assumed was some sort of accident from mason the dog yeah um and uh but then he was like yeah have you ever heard of parvo and then we get like a flashback scene that's like the dad taking the dog to the vet and the mom getting a phone call saying I don't think either of us are coming home. And then they're like, what's happening to Mason? And then she's like, she, he's grounded. Mm -hmm. And so then it's like, well, which reality was true? True or not. Yeah. Yeah. thought it was an interesting move to uh, lock the dog in the, uh, in the office. Yeah. Cause like I was thinking that dog's definitely tearing some stuff up in there. Right. Yeah. Like, so. And especially with how protective the dad is of the office. Like, yeah. To let the dog in there and stuff. It's like, what the hell? Well, but, maybe even if, like, there wasn't some sort of uh, influence over her, maybe to let the dog in there. Like, maybe the mirror was like, yeah, give me that dog. Let me eat it. You yeah. Know? yeah. Mom, mom. Um, maybe even there's just a human nature part of that where she's like, my asshole's been a husband lately. You know what? Go in there and fuck everything <laughs> up. My asshole's been a, My husband. Asshole's been a husband. Did you everything. mean to say that? Because I love that. No, like that's, yeah. Like maybe she's just thinking that also too. I'm like, you know what? Two birds with, or two. To kill two birds with, with one, one stone. Yeah. Like you're annoying. You know Go what? in there and, and whatever. Yeah. He can deal with you later yeah. Yeah. When, when he finds you. Um, yeah. So and all also, that's happening. Sorry. Mm -hmm. no, Parvo good. typically affects puppies. Mm, not like, older doggies. Not older dogs. I don't know much about Parvo or stuff like that. I've had a puppy who got Parvo once, mm, and sorry, um, it like they can get it from the yard because it's when they is it when they eat or poop? they can be born Other dogs with it. Poop? Yeah, I think so. Something like that. And I or, think they vaccinate for it. Uh, yeah, and have for decades now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's good. So that's why you always got to go get your booster shots and little um, the like puppy package yeah. at the vet whenever they're puppies because they vaccinate for parvo if you don't vaccine your kids we don't give a shit but vaccine your dogs they, they're more <laughs> they're more important this is also where tim starts talking about false memories due to fuzzy traces oh is, yeah yeah yeah. yeah. And, and he's basically working really hard to like discredit her yeah. her her own reality or you yeah. know uh, granted we know like damn it's this there is a a fucked up evil mirror that she's having to deal with but um like if let's say if if it wasn't even that like he's laying it on thick even if it was like some person who's losing their mind like it's really almost it's, he's doing exactly to her what she's wanting to do with him and just basically like burst her bubble and like the way she's bursting his bubble and like no like you're not saying this is all happening you know mm. yeah uh, and they're both trying to do that to each other and because she's like no i know what i saw like i sat in front of that door the moment mom locked him in there and nothing ever went in or and then nothing came out mm-hmm until dad got home and unlocked the door. She's like, I know what I saw. Mm -hmm. And he's like, no, these fuzzy traces, like you, it's a traumatic, traumatic event to lose a pet. Mm -hmm. And that you probably like used that your mind, like overwrit, overwrote that trauma and like created, created this new other memory. new memory for mm -hmm. you. And so that was when I was like, Okay, what's real what in my real? life like what have i created to oh, I cover know. up trauma <laughs> there's um, so many like things of trauma that i like i am like did that actually happen and oh, then my yeah. brain starts being like did no. did it really happen and it then i'm like dismiss it. you know it did happen yeah and but like then i start feeling yourself. crazy yeah, yeah. i like, guess like myself yeah no i feel you it's really easy to do that to yourself as well um, especially when, legs, you know, 
sometimes memories aren't full. It doesn't mean that they didn't happen. Sometimes mm-hmm. your brain likes to paint another picture, five different pictures. Like, well, maybe that one, and maybe Build that's the story. Brick wall maybe that's the real story. Cover it, and yeah. Yeah. Then your put brain some doesn't on it. Yeah, yeah. Your brain doesn't like missing space. Yeah, and so like you're always creating these links, filling the gaps. One of the reasons like humans are just like have evolved so well is because we fill in the space. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's also a weakness. Also, why you can't rely on eyewitness testimonies exactly. because we fill in what we want to think happened or mm. yeah. what we thought was real or our perception of what had happened. Yes. Not necessarily. There's always three truths, your truth, my truth, and the actual truth, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, but they're, um, everybody's dead. And that's the end of the movie. <laughs> no, the um, dog kills them all. <laughs> yeah, the, the dog, dog actually <laughs> got the gun, was walking around like a little no, skinwalker. No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. Think of the children. He's like, nobody's fed me for four fucking days. I got Parvo. <laughs> I got Parvo. <laughs> Take me to I'm the man. Oh, and I'm new in town. <laughs> oh, poor Mason. All true things. Yes. Um, but then, uh, oh, where am, I, where am I at my notes? What happens next? Um, um, well, basically, yeah, he's saying there's a logical explanation oh, yeah. for everything. Yeah. And this is where she makes a comment of you had to get go batshit to get out of there. Yeah. Like, and he's like, mental illness runs in our family. Clearly our dad and mom, like what happened to mom? And she's like, mental illness does not explain like why mom had no teeth and no hair and yeah. stuff. <laughs> it was chained like, up. Yeah. And was chained up. Yeah. And like stuff when she was. Found before she died, the days before, before she, she died. died. Yeah. Yeah. Also, and- not them arguing over what all started of the dog. And then meanwhile, that dog is the dog itself, right? Is like in the background, just like. <laughs> and they're just like, shut up, dog. Yeah, Where are she, you? She literally yells at dog at one point. And yeah. it's like, shut up. Yeah. And I was like, he's just, he's locked in a cage. He's literally sensing and picking up the evil in the house because their negative energy is like brooding and now feeding in. It's like the mirror is getting stronger as the night is progressing. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, um, well, and then, so then basically she's like, well, let's go look in there and see what's happening. And like, she stops in front of the door and like is mid sentence and like stops. And he's like, Kaylee, oh, like, what's already, going on? Because he already let the dog out. Oh, okay, they, yeah. yeah, because the dog was let out. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. All, and, of, all of this kind of, I feel like, starts happening even more so because he let the dog out. Mm-hmm. And even I think she comments later, like, oh, I guess the dog was doing more for us than we thought. But, like, I think shit was kind of hold, being at bay for some reason because the dog was right in front of the mirror. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it was. But, yes, when she goes back into that room, we see that the cameras have been pointed to face each other angled and, in towards one another um, there was something else oh. all the plants have died oh and all the plants were dead yes yeah they They're, and they had, and then the plants had like moved too and so like they had or they were rearranged a bit yes. yeah and so and then they watch back the footage and they see that it was them all along yeah like that moved the cameras and the plants and they were having all that argument. Yeah, I liked that they were having the argument. All that discourse was happening while they're while, doing it yeah. and they weren't aware of it. And yeah. they thought they were in the living room. Now, like, the temperature of the home did raise five yeah. degrees, which I yeah. thought was interesting. Yeah. And yeah. typically, normally, whenever ghosts are involved, temperatures drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I thought it was interesting that the temperatures were raising and getting higher. And they're and I love unfortunately for him, I don't love it, honestly, poor guy. But now he's like having that aha, like, oh, shit, like, wait, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, yeah. he's like, this can't be like happening because um, he's like, she's like, I don't remember doing that to you. And yeah. he's like, <laughs> and he's mortified no. while she's just like, yes, yes, yeah. I'm not crazy. Yeah, she she got some validation. She did. No, for sure. And so, yeah, because she, she, I mean, hearing all that talk and stuff from the logical aspect coming from Tim, mm-hmm. she probably was starting to think, well, fuck, am I crazy? Like none of the plants had died yet. Nothing had happened. Yeah. And and so, like, once all the plants were dead and then she, like, goes out into the living room and sees that some of the plants have died in the living room as well. Mm-hmm. But, like, the electricity was still on and stuff like that. So she was like, there's a radius. Mm-hmm. It hasn't reached the whole house yet. So we have some areas, like, we could probably go upstairs and not be affected by the mirror or go outside 
and stuff. And so this is where Tim is like, well, I am going to go outside and call my doctor Mm -hmm. because I'm going fucking crazy. And he does. And, um, every time it's saying the call cannot be completed as dialed and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. Can you imagine, uh, being Tim in the situation where they go back and watch the video? Like he has spent years unpacking all of this. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're about to see the moment of confirmation between what is reality in this situation. And he sees them moving it all. I'm like, that's not how he experienced it. Yeah. That would suck. And especially in this next moment too, whenever he's going outside making the phone call, and then finally he gets woken up from that like fake mm-hmm. idea and he's she's inside. like, Tim, what are you doing? And he's like, what do you mean? I, how did I get in here? I was just outside. And she's like, no, you. I watched you watch walk over you. here and sit down. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, I tried to make a phone call. Like, what do you what do you mean? How am I here? Yeah. And mm-hmm. yeah, it's just. All of his reality is like slipping. And she's like, I told you, told you so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically. Um, and then at this point, uh, did we cut back to a memory? I yeah, think we're, we're back, back in childhood. Yeah, because they're at the table with the mom and this is really like they have like burnt toast and like soup, I guess. Or yeah, I'm assuming mac- it's some sort of soup or, or tomato, like burnt grilled cheese and tomato soup or something like that. Yeah. Whatever, it did not look like a very hearty dinner like they were having beforehand. And mom's got her wine, and she's just drinking at the table. And she looks haggard. She does. She Mm -hmm. looks like she's had drunk and pissed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she starts to um, talk, ask them. Is this where she asks About the woman Yeah, she's like, hey, you know, have you seen that whore around? No. She's (laughs) like, hey, have you seen that lady? And Kaylee is like, no, I, I haven't seen her. Because I guess she's just not wanting to upset her mom. Yeah. Right. And then because she's obviously like, "Mm, I don't think you're all right right now. And then Tim is like, I've seen her. Yeah. And Uh, Kaylee's like, shut the fuck up, Tim. Right. And then mom's like, oh, where have you seen her? And she's like, I didn't see her in the office. I saw her on the stairs. Um, Mm -hmm. And she's like, well, what what is what was she doing? He's like, I don't know. I was so scared. I just like stayed in my room. Um, so, and he says, but I think she lives in the yeah. office mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's whenever mom decides to tell them to like go to their rooms or something like that. Right. And then she ends up going to the office. Um, and we, get sorry, this. this reminds me of an actual horror thing that happened to my brother when we were kids. We lived in this in North Carolina mm-hmm. where I was born. Um, we lived in this cabin that was over a hundred years old and it, our great uncle Dick had passed away in the house from Mm. a brain aneurysm. Mm. Um, and, uh, we had his pictures and then like pictures of my papa and like every one who had like served in the military, they were all like sepia toned photos in the, in the, um, hallway. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that's just kind of where they lived. And one time my brother Patrick Mm -hmm. was like, he asked my dad and he was like, daddy, why do the pictures on the walls talk to me at night? Ooh, that's creepy. (laughs) Yeah. And this kind of moved immediately. They actually tore down the house because, um, (laughs) immediately (laughs) they built new, a new house on the property. Mm, Um, so now that house is haunted. Yeah, probably. Yeah. We, after that point, it was after the divorce. And so like, we never really lived there, but, um, yeah, that house, it had, it was pictures talking to him instead of mirrors. Mm. But that little instance reminded me of that. That's freaky. Yeah, it is. Well, I'm glad you got out of there yeah. alive. It was a beautiful yeah. house, though. It's really, it had a sunroom that was just gorgeous that ran the whole length of the house. And there was like hydrangea bushes outside. And then That's cool. it was, it was beautiful. It's it really North sad. North Carolina. Yeah. All mm-hmm. the most beautiful houses, all the most haunted houses are beautiful. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, that house was definitely haunted, but um, not as haunted as this mirror. Not as, yeah, it definitely didn't cause us to kill each other. You uh-huh. sure? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> no, just, I'm like, not. You've been a ghost this whole time, <laughs> um, walking the earth. The, and so she, she's in the room and she's having a moment with this mirror in the office. She's having a moment with the mirror, right? Um, is this because she tries to? This is where she tries to attack it. No. 
Yeah. 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 And, and she, she also found a page covered in the oh, name with Marisol. Marisol. Yeah. 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 Marisol. 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 <laughs> Marisol. It does sound like aerosol. Like aerosol Marisol. can. Um, Marisol. Marisol. Um, but yeah, she finds a little little one name and then goes through the papers and sees like, you know, Mr. Marisol all over it, whatever. Marisol, Marisol. And so, yeah, she gets angry as any person probably would. And like, it's like a paperweight or something. It's like something she yeah, grabs she off the table. I think it's something. like a pin holder or yeah. something. Oh, yeah. Something like that. Because she's, she's putting the pins back into mm, the cup later. Mm-hmm. And she tries to throw it at the mirror, but it like somehow deflects it and it just goes on the wall. And then we see the mirror do this like thing where it's like ominous and then it just like sends like a blast of energy towards yeah. her. Yeah, like, it's dark like she attacked energy. the mirror and it attacks back. It retaliated. It yeah. just like. <laughs> it was like. Oh. She gets hit by some sort of force. Yeah. And immediately she's just like, whoa, the fuck? And just kind of looking at it. And then she sees herself in the mirror. Which is really freaky because it's not reflecting like her same reflection. It's doing its own thing. Um, and everyone's well, not everyone's worst nightmare, but one of mine. I'm always afraid that my reflection will start doing different. something differently. Yeah. And <laughs> just because of how many horror movies like we've mm-hmm. seen and stuff. And I'm like, or that I'll see something behind me. Um, but or also, too, it's just also really uncomfortable to stare at a mirror. Like if you stare at a mirror at yourself long enough, you do like you start to be like, like, even me, you start to be like, is that really me? Yeah. Is that you? Like, what's going That's on? That's what I look get like. Too yeah, like, you kind of get yeah. into all of that, like, existential shit. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, she she definitely has a moment with the mirror. And then she's just there looking at it. It's it's doing its thing. It's Is this the moment where we get the little... Yeah, she starts looking yeah. at her scar, scar in the mirror. Yeah. And it's, like, opened up oh, yeah. in the reflection of the mm-hmm. mirror. And the uh, reflection of her in the mirror starts to, like, go in there and, like, open it up and starts digging in there. She's mm-hmm. freaking out. She's in front of the mirror and is just kind of, like, probably scratching at herself or something. Yeah. Or, I, don't I know. was really afraid she was going to turn around and, like, like, oh, her guts did, would yeah, just. <laughs> I was, thinking, I was yeah. like, this would be a real <laughs> horror movie if we saw that. And I don't want to. She did have those pins. She could have very easily, like, have been, like, you know doing something with that yeah um and then the kids come in and that's whenever they're like mom like are you okay and timbo goes up to her and then unfortunately she turns around and starts choking him out Mm -hmm. which is uh, wwe very wwe yes not cool not cool if you're a kid and that's your mom (laughs) probably really scary and then uh we have you know she. Does she let go? Someone somehow she lets. Uh, he says, I put assist. Kaylee helps. Kaylee helps so, somehow. Yeah, I think yeah. she like hits pushes her or, or pushes her or something. And oh, was it no, later it, on? She smacks her with the, the fucking mm-hmm. golf club. But it's like, not that right now. Yeah, yeah, but they're able to run off. They get upstairs just barely into the room, and that's whenever they're just like there, and mom's banging on the door, and dad thankfully comes home and is able to save them. Um, to an extent. To an extent, yeah. <laughs> um, and chokes mom out. Yeah, puts her in that little sleeper hold. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and then, then tries to call like doctors or nine one one. I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard three button beeps, so I assume nine one one. Yeah, uh, and he's like, I've got a situation here with my wife. It's an emergency. But we see that there's whispering going on the phone, and I think it said something the like cam- uh, the lights flicker too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like the mirror interferes. Um, and it's basically just changing his course of action um probably controlling him and telling him like you know it well we see what happens um he gets some stuff uh like chains and the hammer and then kaylee comes out and she's like you know what's happening and he's like mom is sick and or no he's like go to bed he's like go to bed go to go to bed and yeah. we we come to find out later on what he did but it's the next day and he's talking to them and he's like you know basically mom is sick she's in the room and he's like we don't want you to bother her at all um and even kaylee's like we like who's we and then he doesn't acknowledge it um and he's just like you know what y'all can come into the uh office and play video games yeah that that's pretty much like you know that's it just leave mom alone like yeah she's she's got problems steer clear of her room Mm -hmm. don't go in there and i also have a note that the camera at this point is showing different things than what's going on yet again Mm -hmm. um but i don't remember exactly what happened if you do, or uh, either of you, was it the? T- I think it's right here because she's. It's we're back with the adult with Kaylee and Tim and uh-huh. right, and she's setting stuff 
cam she's fixing because the cameras were facing each other. That's right. And so she's putting them back. And when she's putting them back, her yeah. on the monitor, it's not oh, her putting right. it back. It's like her like coming up to the camera and looking yeah. at it, doing and, something uh -huh. different. And but it's Tim's not. just looking at it. He's yeah. not, saying, not anything. saying anything. No, he's just like, huh? That's funny. yeah. That's right. That's yeah. what it was. Like screens uh -huh. are turning on and lights are turning off in the background. And yeah, things like that happening. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, this is like I would be running for the yeah. hills. Um, <laughs> but uh, he decides to stay and help, and they like get low light bulbs, and this is when they're like trying to change out light bulbs. But it's also it's bleeding out even more heavily the 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 memories are starting to bleed even more heavily because mm. she like sees the light bulb and he's standing there but then it's like him as a kid and he's just looking at the mirror but then he's gone and then she goes to like fix the light bulb because she's brought back because the light bulb goes out yeah yeah and she goes up and to try he's to not change there it out. anymore yeah yeah but and i'm like was he ever really there yeah. I don't think he was. I don't know where he's at, but I don't think he was even there to begin with. Yeah, no, um, I don't think so. Um, and uh, this part was one of the gnarliest scenes that I did remember as soon as like because a timer had gone off and she was like, we need to eat, but mm -hmm. we also need to change these light bulbs. So she hands him an apple, mm -hmm. hands herself an apple. They're biting into the apples. Everything's great. And then she sets down the apple as the light bulb, like you just said, went out again. Yeah. And so she's changing the light bulb and um, sets the light bulb right down next to the apple. And I, and immediately it triggered the memory for me. And I was like, oh, you know what's about to happen? Yeah. yikes. She's about to pick up that light bulb instead of an apple. Yeah. And sure enough, she does. And we don't see what she grabs for, but we see her turn around and then you hear the shatter of glass mm. and it's like, it's pretty oh gnarly. shit. Yeah. yeah. It reminds me of uh, Evil Dead Rise. Yeah. I was thinking that as soon as I, you didn't even have to say the name. I was literally thinking of that. You know what it reminded me of? It's like when you ate a tortilla chip and it kind of gets stuck oh. in your mouth. The wrong oh way. yeah. Oh, worst feeling ever. <laughs> Mine yes, would always, like they get stuck in between the uh, gap and my front tooth. Or a gum. Mm. Yeah. Or when you eat a tortilla chip. <laughs> Cheap. Weird way to say it, but, uh, and it, like, it's, like, not. Yeah, right. and you can Minnesota feel it and going feel down it all. Scratching the... your throat all the way yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Worst thing ever, yeah. Um, and, yeah, this is a really um, memorable scene because, yeah, one, like, glass in your mouth, just, like, biting your tongue or like biting your cheek hurts so just imagine cutting it up with the glass and then you're like mm -hmm. and she had she did a really good job um uh, uh jillian killian I forget gillen Kill, karen gillen gillen I'm, I'm mixing her name karen yeah of like making it look really believable like she was eating the glass yeah and, she did do a fantastic um, job in this scene because even after when he comes up and we realize that thankfully it wasn't actually the glass bulb it's just like playing tricks with her mind um I love how she's like, like still like that. Like she, it just seems really yeah. believable yeah. to me. I don't know. Once it's yeah. Once we find out that she actually did bite into just the apple, but the place made her believe the mirror made her believe she bent. Yeah, bulb. that would linger. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're not just gonna be like, oh great, it was the apple. You'd be like, I love how she's yeah. just like, we should stick together from now on. Yeah, yeah. which they should. Mm -hmm. This should have been the thing from the get go. Um, but it's a horror movie. Everybody splits up. So that's that's just part of the rules. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't want you to be eating. No, it's, it doesn't. Yeah, it really doesn't. Yeah. It wants you to do everything to yourself to because that like adds to the delirium. It's like no eating, no sleeping, like just crazy. Um, and this is whenever after that she ends up. Um, does she see her mom? I think for some reason she sees I have in my notes. She sees her mom in the room. Um, um or something draws My her. next notes are that we're back with them as kids. Oh, because and she's hearing, a kid, Kaylee, and she sees her mom in the room. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she's hearing, like, thudding upstairs, and... There's no food in the house, there's and they're no hungry. There's no food in the fridge, yeah. And Dad, they go to tell Dad, and she's like, um, Dad, there's no food. And he was like, what's that, Princess? Mm -hmm. And then she's like, we need to go buy groceries. And he's like, that's on my list. Mm -hmm. And then she that's says something else, and he says it again. And that's on my list. And um, so she's like, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to go tell mom. Mm -hmm. And so she goes into mom's room. We can see there's a little bit of blood and some like a plate or something that's been shattered. Mm -hmm. um, and she walks into the room 
And it seems empty at first uh, until we get to the other side of the bed and we see that the mom is chained to the wall. Yeah. Pretty Which is sick. Horrifying because she like runs up on her and is chained up and like I guess she's been eating plates instead of food. Yeah, I wonder that sounds it more probably <laughs> it, the mirror probably like she's tricking her to think it's food. Food and mm-hmm. then she's like eating the plates and it's destroying her, her. mouth. Yeah. Uh, for uh, special visual effects on her mouth and everything. Her oh, mouth yeah. was just utterly disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Like I couldn't even like put my mind around what they had done to her mouth. Cause otherwise attractive woman. And just, no, yeah. yeah. Right. And we have like Charlize Theron and like, monster. And, oh yeah. yeah. No, it probably was a mix of practical and like CGI or stuff for how gnarly it looked. Mm. Um, because was, I mean, yeah, just imagine gross. eating ceramic plates or whatever glass plates, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, um, and she oh fuck you right up. Um, <laughs> is rightfully terrified of her mom, like well crap, and like is like what the fuck. So she and brother Tim are like trying to take matters into their own hands. They're calling doctors um, through the phone book, but every time they you know get an answer from a doctor, it's the same answer and in the same voice. It's telling mm-hmm. them like. Um, ask your father to call. Yeah, um, have your father call. Have your father call. So they're picking up that like something isn't right here and that even like the phone is being manipulated. So Kaylee is able to go outside and she goes and grabs the neighbor and the neighbor comes over and starts talking to the dad but the dad is able to play it down as like Kaylee acting out because their mom is actually sick. Meanwhile, he has like blood on the he's door. He's ripped every single nail off mm-hmm. of his right hand. And he's like, got that. We're fine. There. And he's just like, yeah, we're fine. Let's like, go to like, tea time next week. Yeah, let's go to the golf course. And yeah, it was it was pretty gross. Um, mm-hmm. And then he just goes back into his office and he's just cooped up there all day. And then at this point, this is where the reality like starts really bleeding and they're like watching their childhood yeah. play out in front of them. Um, but yeah. And it all starts bleeding um, more so uh, yeah. because Kaylee's walking through the house and see like she's 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 uh, she is seeing <laughs> um, like her dad. And um, then this is whenever she, Oh no, I'm sorry. She's seeing like the, what she thinks are like the pieces of the plates that she saw her mom uh, see, because she's putting up all the lights and then she's walking through the house and she thinks she see all the pieces. Oh, right before this, she does kick the pot of the plant, which is very important because it breaks. Um, and then she's using her phone to like, look and make sure and verify between what is real or not, because I guess this is the way of like the, the mirror can't manipulate um, the phone itself, the technology. So she's using that to help. And but she, it's manipulate. Well, I guess it's not manipulating the technology because the mirror, the cameras are still picking up on what they're doing. Um, we also got to she was in front of the mirror. And the timer was about to go off yeah. for the kitchen. Oh, my bad. Yeah. At one point. And she's like, ah, almost got me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She was like, Ooh. clever girl. <laughs> yeah. She, my home and, alone traps almost yeah. got me. Yeah. Literally. And so that was really scary. And I think earlier. Foreshadowing. Before then, we had even seen when, the, oh, no, that's later whenever they're both outside and then they see mm-hmm. them selves in front, in of, front the of the mirror. Yeah. That's what draws them back in. Yeah. yeah. But they're. um yeah, smashes that. She smashes one of the timers too, and mm, um, because it's just going off. And yeah. Tim is going. Then we're back with Tim for a little bit, and the I think Tim's younger self sees older, older Tim. Tim in the doorway because yeah. his face, like, there's this like it's puzzling. Yeah, and mm-hmm. like a look of recognition, but without it mm-hmm. being him knowing yeah. like he just it was like he actually saw someone standing there um and so i was like is tim seeing his older self like that's pretty wild they're slipping between realities and then um yeah it makes you wonder if it's like uh, if is it just uh their perception that it's altering or is it actually altering timelines yeah yeah that's where it started getting kind of mm-hmm. it really interesting to me on that front but yeah i think I think it was altering some timelines, but I don't know. that. That's just what it seems like to me. We'll have to call Mike. Flanagan. Flanagan. Yeah. I was hey, like, Flan. Hey, listen up. 
to explain the movie Oculus to us because we're <laughs> fucking confused. We're lost. <laughs> um, but yeah, then she smashes that plant mm -hmm. and is like using that phone, like you said, and um, is she's picked up one of the pieces of the ceramic pot mm -hmm. and is like holding it when which i thought was weird too because i we're, we're we're thinking like it's the plate like she's getting tricked right but i was like oh that's pretty real because it's in her hand and she's holding it it felt like all the other pieces on the floor weren't real you know weren't what I mean? there yeah. yeah which was it was yeah it was wild it and threw then, me off yeah uh then i guess is does marisol pop up and no, that's who it's she her stabs it's, oh, her it's her mom, mom. Yeah. it's her mom pops up and then she's like what the fuck and it's just really and it quick. was instinctive yeah. like it wasn't like i don't even think it was necessarily it. even like i'm trying to kill something i think it was just like i'm scared yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, uh -huh. and then I was honestly a little shocked that he went down from that. I oh, was like, yeah, so I was like, that's very. He died so easily. Yeah, and I was yeah. like, it's the side of the neck, not like the front of the neck. I don't know, just major, yeah. major a, artery, a main vein. He just bled out immediately. I have a note in here. Maybe y'all can make some sense of it because I don't remember it. It was around here, but I put crazy gum lady sucking daddy's neck. What was that? <laughs> I <laughs> think gum lady sucking daddy's neck. Was it Marisol? Uh, yeah, I think so because yeah. I also have a note that says Marisol, the lady in the office, is creepy. Yeah, and okay. like I think she was there, and we like saw them like making yeah. out. But and she's getting more grotesque. Yeah, looking. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. at first she looked pretty normal. Yeah, yeah. but then like whenever she, I they, think he's like, is, oh shit. Yeah, and like hides it. She like progressively turns more creepy. And I think this is happening just before. The, the the sequence we just described yeah oh, okay yeah that's Sorry. wild no it's fine because so much is it was all it's yeah it's happening so fast moments. and everything it's hard to keep track but yeah i think i think marisol just was real creepy looking and mm -hmm. they were sucking they sucking were sucking each neck. Other. neck yeah i just wanted to know what the heck i was writing or if <laughs> no. if my reality was being altered, altered. yeah <laughs> like we said these notes are my notes are i had to like keep backtracking and yeah. stuff because i kept mm -hmm. writing the wrong thing it was really weird so michael goes down and yeah. then she's like he's it's not real it's not real and then ted walks up and he's like um I, I definitely see a body there and she's using the uh phone to kind of oh wait it's not just yet she's using the phone to see if the pieces around her are real but then she notices that the pot next to her is real and tim's looking over and then we then her get, phone starts ringing from Michael, and then she's he looks at it, and they look at it, and she's like, "Hmm." She answers it, and it's him, and he's like, "Hey, just checking in." And she's like, um, "Everything's good, we're fine." And he's like, "All right, I'll call you in an hour." And she's like, 50 50 it's him or not, right?" Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I think I think she, he didn't call on the hour, too. Yeah, and oh, so yeah. I think she was like, "It's not him." And that's why, too, she was already at this is at this point when she's she's really confident. She's like, it's not real. It's not real. Those weren't real. But then that's when she notices yes. that the pot that she did knock she over, like the, those were real. She's like, the plate's not real. The plate's right. Not yeah. real. But it was that part pottery. of the pot. Yeah. yeah. And then we use the Worked camera in. to look at and poor Michael's there dead. Yeah. Unfortunately. He's and she's like. Really dead. You know, obviously uh, mortified about what she's done. She's dead, too. And at this point, that's where Tim is like, you know what? Like, no, we got to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Like, we got to call the cops. We've got to go. They do easily get outside. Well, I mean, we don't. They, who's to say they did or if not? If they right? ever actually but, made it outside. Right. We but do he, know the phone call was placed, but they might have not ever been outside. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, he called the police maybe just yeah. because I was like, I'm not sure if his phone call actually went through mm -hmm. or if if it was like the demon well, have yeah whatever altering whatever state mirror. And have you considered that maybe the uh, significant other, the fiance uh, called before it went over there? And that's why the police actually showed up. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe mm -hmm. that could and be it. Like and it like he actually did follow orders. Yeah, like because she did say notify the authorities, and then he just went to go check himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, As that could would. definitely be true. And that, um, but, but they, they, they do later on say he called it in, and then he did this. Oh, and then he did this. Yeah, yeah. Um, but so I think he does jerk cops too. Anyway, who knows? Yeah, yeah. That's forwarding too much. But. Um, they're they're outside and they place the call. They're like, okay, we're gonna get help. But then they notice that. 
their bodies are in front of the mirror. And and, and Ted, all the electricity came back oh, on, yeah, so right. the house like lights up. And Tim is like, it's a trick. It's a trap for us to go back inside. Um, but for some reason, she convinces him? Or what is it, the reason that they go back inside? I don't know. I know that they Was it call like again. They call again, mm-hmm. and they say, you're going to have to have your father call. Yeah. And it was the same voice from before. Yeah. So like they because he was like, did I actually make that phone Mm -hmm. call or not? And um, then he tells her we're going to have to be get really, really brave. Mm -hmm. That's Um, when they go back inside. And they're like and they're we're going to try to smash it. And it's flash being back to the memory of the kids who are like, we're going to have to get really brave and smash it because they go Mm -hmm. to try to smash it with the golf clubs. But then they can't. Um, and then we see that um, um, dad is letting mom off the leash um, that the chains that he has her chained up on. And I thought he was going to shoot her then, like kill yeah, her Yeah, because he holds because the yeah, he, like we see him loading the gun and Kaylee as a child sees that and mm-hmm. is like, he's got a gun or maybe it was Tim. Yeah, it was Tim. Tim who saw yeah. it. And she runs back upstairs and or he runs back upstairs and tells her that. Um, Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, then he goes. And so he's got that gun and he like points it at her, like puts it under her chin and um, then doesn't shoot her. um, Yeah, she gets up and it's like all spooky ooky and she looks really menacing, but lets her go. Because I guess he's going to use her as an attack dog for the rest of the movie. It's like mom and dad versus two kids, essentially. Yeah. Um, And he's got the gun. Uh, Janie's got a gun. And then (laughs) uh, mom's just running around the house, like, just, like, terrorizing the children. Um, And we have her attacking the kids. But they're in the restroom. And then we have adult. Like, it's so confusing. And we have adult Kaylee and Ted and Tim in the restroom. But then she's sending the young one out. And she's like, just run, run down the stairs. I've got you or vice versa somehow. And then. Yeah, she's like, what are we going to do? We're going to head towards the stairs. Yeah. We're going to run down those stairs. Don't look back. Don't do nothing. Just we're getting outside. She's and, able to whack mom and yeah, like hold her off. Because so she opens the door. Yeah. And Tim successfully makes it down the stairs, but she doesn't. Mm-hmm. And then she runs into the parents' room, jumps out the second story window. Yeah. And then she is outside. She sees Marisol and someone else in the window, one of the other ghosts. Spirit. ghosts. Yeah. yeah, spirits. And um then we have adult Tim getting shot at by his father, but as the shot goes off inside the house, it draws Kaylee back inside because then Kaylee is adult Kaylee. Yeah. And yeah, both of them. Uh, It's very confusing. Sorry, guys. (laughs) Whoever's listening to this, just fucking watch the movie. I'm reading my notes and listening and I'm still kind of lost. Yeah. (laughs) yeah. Because young Kaylee and older Kaylee both are going into the house. Yeah. Because somehow kind of everything's working in real time at the same time from the past and the present. Mm -hmm. So it's like the timelines are converging. Yeah. And it's almost like the same things are happening, just Repeated. one's older version and one's young version. Yeah, exactly. And they they go. She goes inside, and that's whenever um, we have mom running up and trying to strangle the younger um, Kaylee, Kaylee because and Tim's like, <laughs> and, then, yeah. and she's still just like what, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she gets started starts getting strangled by mom, and then. This is such a horrible scene because, like, you can tell. I think the mom's humanity is starting to come through because she's realizing, like, damn, what I'm am strangling I doing? She's my like, child, Kaylee? Kaylee. And then and just at that moment, and I'm pretty sure because the mirror picks up on that, is like, you gotta go. Yeah, and yeah shoots, shoots her. her, and he double taps as well, like triple taps. Yeah, because yeah. he, yeah, once she rolls off of Kaylee, shoots her one more time, shoots her in the stomach, and then I think comes back yeah. and shoots her in the head. Finishes it off as she like is looking at him like one last time and it does seem very much like the real her not like the you know Mm -hmm. been possessed part of her um and then he shoots her kills her and then that's whenever we have i don't know if it's necessarily the reality of what he's done or if dad somehow is coming through i don't know but that's whenever they're all in the office and he's in front of the mirror and he's like directing tim to like try to shoot him 
Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, there's... Maybe right before that something happened. Yeah, so there's all the past spirits come out. Oh, yeah. And that she talked about in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, it like claims your spirit after it kills you and then like helps it. You end up helping You're like a kill henchman. other people. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of um, uh, Bagul. Yeah, I saw that with the kids and how and they would uh, what is that? do the killing. Shutter? Sinister. Sinister. Yeah. Not Shudder. Um, yeah, it reminded me of Sinister a little bit there. It's um, reminding me of, you know what's funny? I told, I told the same thing to Jaden. It reminded me of like Sinister and Smile, honestly, kind of mixed like together. Combined. Like a proximity curse situation where it's like it's passed to people yeah. in a way. But then also, um, yeah, the Sinister thing where it's like an Amityville where it's making other people do its bidding. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. I can see that for sure. Um, but basically adult Kaylee's watching her father go throughout the house now, mm -hmm. but then she turns into a little girl again. And this is where they start attacking the mirror, but they're really mm -hmm. with the golf mm -hmm. clubs and they're attacking either side of it. And then as adults, their father finds them, but then they turn into kids again and their dad is about to shoot. But then he says like, I've seen the devil and he is me. Mm -hmm. And then, um, then like talking all this stuff while like glancing at the mirror. Mm -hmm. And, um, then Timbo gets the gun and is like, stop it. <laughs> and then dad is like, turns the gun on himself. Yeah. And well, helps him like, helps pull the trigger. Makes Tim pull the trigger, which I was like, if he would have just like explained this, like, and if people would have just listened, like, I don't feel like he should have been locked up. I mean, I yeah. mean, him saying the mirror made me do it. But like, if he was like, my dad, my like, dad helped me pull the trigger. Went psycho, killed mom, and I guess was so, like, guilt-ridden and had me, like, help him shoot him. Like, yeah. Yeah. You're obviously a child, right? Like, nobody's going to think, like, no, yeah. you did that on your own intent, I guess. I don't know. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's really sad. He has to shoot his own dad. And, and this is how we find out how the crack happened because him shooting his dad through it. And I guess the mirror wasn't really prepared for that happening. Um, Maybe it was like a Voldemort type situation where mm -hmm. it was an act of love. Oh, yeah. You know? Or maybe yeah. because. Yeah. Could be, or maybe because it, he was because a conduit the through the mirror, like shooting the yeah, dad it was itself, indirect. was like j injuring the mirror uh, because yeah, he was now because part, he of was part of the mirror. At yeah. that point, he was so like he was already oh, so engraved into it. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I had thought too. Mm -hmm. But I like the idea of it being an act of love too, because the last words from the dad were run. Yeah, and like Before trying to do shot. mercy. Yeah. yeah, and and maybe too. Also, this is like another third theory. Maybe it's like the bullet passed through the dad. And so it was like oh. the body of someone and it wasn't like necessarily directly intended for the mirror that the mirror wasn't like that. I'm getting shot at. So yeah. it went through the dad and then hit the, the mirror, mirror itself. Yeah. And it wasn't just the dad like bumping on it or some metaphysical thing. I don't know. Yeah. Um, a lot of things there. Um, and, and then, yeah, so he's dead, unfortunately. And then this, this is where we get um, present day. Now, Timbo is with. Kaylee, no, Kaylee is with her mom, right? Little Kaylee. We get all the corpses coming up first and then they open their mouths mm -hmm. and all the alarms are going off mm -hmm. from their mouth, which I thought was very terrifying Yeah, because they all looked so creepy and then they were just like mm -hmm. with those alarms coming out. And then this is where like we're time slipping again. And yeah, then young Kaylee sees her mom in the mirror mm -hmm. or adult Kaylee does. It's adult. Someone Kay sees it's young Kaylee first, but then it like turns into adult. It, 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 it's because it's young Kaylee who is holding, who's getting hugged, hugged. Then by her mother. But yeah. then, unfortunately, in the present time, Tim is like, "I'm taking matters into my own hands," and like is like at the same time, but can't see her there because his reality is then different. shifted. Yeah, and lets the timer. He it doesn't even let it go off. Like he does it to where he makes it go off, and then unfortunately we hear like this, and we then see that he ended up impaling Kaylee, who is was in front of the mirror the whole time, and he just yeah. didn't see her, which really sucks. 
Um, and then um, at the same time, like he's realizing what he did and like it's playing over like, you know, them back in the day and when they were kids and like how the cops showed up and now cops are showing up and she's like, remember the promise you made? Like, we will never forget. And then he's just looking at her and she's just dying and she's just like gaily and she's just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then and then, yeah, the time is slipping like mm-hmm. back and forth between we've got the sirens coming both as children and as their adults mm-hmm. and. We get him being hauled away. Yeah, Tim in handcuffs saying the same thing as he said when he was a kid, saying it's the mirror. It's the mirror. And this is where I wrote, I can't believe they're arresting a little kid like this. Mm -hmm. Um, Just totally heartless, too. Like they're saying crap. Yeah. They're just like, okay, get in. And, um, And then we're looking, adult Tim's looking after they've got him in the handcuffs and put him in the back of the car. He looks into the window, sees both of his parents, and then Kaylee is there, too. Yeah. And then it just fucking ends. That's it. And I was like, damn, that's really it. That's it. No happy ending whatsoever. No. She deserved it, too. Yeah, she did. (laughs) Hot take. (laughs) She got him in the shit, so she gets to suffer there forever and eternity. Mm-hmm. that's crazy and the mirror will the just obsession continue. just continues and the mirror will just continue to do what it does for whoever comes into it next or yeah however it gets sold um, was there ever an oculus too no i no. did remember thinking whenever i first saw it i was like they left this open for a second one mm-hmm. like yeah. easily if yeah. they ever wanted to make a second one they could you could come back to it yeah mm-hmm it's pretty open ended in the end. Well, there could also be a movie where they give us like the backstory or more like origin yeah. of like how. Yeah. This, Oculus origins. Literally, because we don't know anything about the mirror itself. Really, we know what it can do, but we don't mm-hmm. know like why it does. They or, could make like 43 or, movies or what it, one or, for mm-hmm. each kill. Literally. Yeah. Oh, you could. You really could. Or for, like, like a, a limited series mm-hmm. where. Like, like every episode is a one of the family family version that, of it. Yeah, that'd be really cool. That would be cool. I'd watch it, Mike Flanagan, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> Do your thing. Please make Oculus a series. I'd watch it. Um, uh, he's good at he's good at the series we've mm-hmm. seen from all the haunting of Hill House universe. Oh yeah, I love those. They're yeah, really good. They're so good. Um, but I think also part of it. The horror is knowing that it's still out there. Yeah. And that's what makes it so like, so maybe it's, it's perfect to not make a, like a second film continuing where like Tim comes back and defeats it or something like and avenges his whole family or something like that. Like the horror is knowing that it's still out there wreaking havoc the horror is that it's such a sad fucking tale yeah like literally because nobody won like the yeah. mirror won of course but like the family died and the mirror framed him the, the, t- literally Poor tim, tim. <laughs> is going mirror down just does not like tim no <laughs> or something he couldn't even control or have any part of to be honest um yeah, yeah. it's pretty wild um, but yeah, I, I, when I first watched this movie and when it came out, um, I remember I didn't really like it. And I think it was because I, more or less, I kind of have like, I don't like movies where things happen and then you find out at the end, it was all a dream. And it was mm-hmm. just kind of like, what, like, what the point? I guess nothing happened after all, or yeah. was it really real or was it not? But this, and for some reason I remembered it more like that, but it does have, it. it's not all that, like. Stuff did happen, hmm. so it's not like it was just a dream. So, but it's that, hard to tell what wh- is reality and what's, what's not. not. Yeah, so it's like even like, like I guess in the end, the payoff for her biting that apple, like it, it messes with her psyche, and we get a more distraught character, of course, throughout the the movie but for me i was kind of like man that really didn't happen like that's kind of mm-hmm. lame like she should have been like you know that really should have happened yeah like, you know but it's a cool scene nonetheless but um i just think for some reason back then i think my mind couldn't appreciate or understand i was just like the back and forth of it all because it's so elaborate and mm-hmm. so heavily layered and going between like the past and the present um upon this watch i liked it um significantly better i thought like it was pretty interesting watching the way like 
even like the mom's physical, like everybody acted really well to me. Mm -hmm. I thought Tim did really good. I thought the dad did pretty good at being an asshole and sister did good at like being really obsessive over trying to figure this out. And the mom, I really liked how the mom like really showed her range of like going from like normal and then like medium and then descent and then just like literally animalistic and just being fully controlled by the mirror. Um, It's pretty sad but it's really good in the way that everything is like it's so sad because they made me feel like man this sucks for everybody like this is Mm -hmm. crappy yeah um i really liked those lights that she pulled up i like man i want lights like that yeah they remind me of like camping camping lights like i want i think it's like a lantern yeah i want a lantern like that anyways that's just a little side thing tell (laughs) the true about that um, too i thought it's it's a it's a really cool it's a really cool like concept of like haunted mirror family um really like this movie could also be like it should it could have been like a limited series like his other stuff like you said and Mm -hmm. maybe we could have get had more like history on like the other families but even just this situation itself could have been a limited series and have 10 episodes on just this family yeah and like this whole situation um and american horror stories yeah very much like that and see how it plays out um because it's so deep in emotion in the horror element and very much um like it's very smart like it's just a really smart movie honestly now that i've watched it again and i'm like yeah it was just too smart for me to appreciate back then i was not i guess looking at it from a perspective of like how deep someone really like, he literally took his time and was like this story and this and then they go back and then that and that happened yeah. because of this like that takes a lot so i really respect it um but um i don't know i like I've, i i want to say it's okay to not like it even knowing that i think this is a good like there, episode there, for you to be on because yeah. his original take was that he didn't like it yeah and, i like hated it yeah and then i really loved it Awesome. And me going in again, I still love it. And you I hate are it less. not, yeah. I hate it less. You're That's, not yeah. as sure how you feel. Yeah. So this just, is normally, not normally, there, we disagree sometimes. Sometimes, but normally we're like, yeah, that was pretty it's, good. Or, or really no, bad. that was fucking uh-huh. awful. <laughs> and it's, it's not often that we get very wildly different well i like i like it more having spoken with y'all about it because uh-huh. there is that depth there are a couple things i think i would have liked more about it yeah uh, and i think it comes down to the length of the movie not having enough time to develop the characters mm-hmm. yeah uh, and i think but i really like the premise I think you can really see Mike uh, Mike Flanagan's I almost called him Mike fingerprint Mike <laughs> Flanagan's <laughs> fingerprints on it. Yeah, uh, especially when you start looking at like the eccentricities and complexities of the time slipping back and forth. Yeah, yeah. that's a very Flanagan move. Um, it, uh, there were uh, I, there was a lot that I really enjoyed about it. Uh, there were some things like I just felt a little. Like, I just wanted more out of it. So that's I, what I was about to say. But as far as an enjoyable movie, I, I definitely see the merits in, in enjoying it. And I can see why you'd love it as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I uh, almost kind of want even more information of like, or kind of more the dog. Like, it didn't need to eat the dog this time. And like, maybe the dog going away was beneficial to the mirror or was it not beneficial to the mirror this time? That's yeah, the I'm dog saying. aspect was a little like, OK, why? Like, I understand that it feeds on living things and those are like and and then maybe they did it because in most paranormal movies, like there's always a dog mm-hmm. that especially whenever it is like paranormal entities. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. it has to a... bark and be like, trust your pets. It's yeah. the first thing that is an indication that something's wrong and everybody always ignores the pet and then they end up dead yes yep. or run away listen yeah. to your dog yeah. mm-hmm. and so like i think maybe that's why they placed the dog in there mm. and like had that aspect but it is a little undeveloped mm-hmm. in that like sense of like why was the dog necessary like why did you have to bring in another dog and I mean, I understand you're testing your theory, but like then the dog gets let go and then shit still hits the fan anyways. Yeah. Which is like, what? <laughs> in in your defense, as a lover of this movie, I would say that uh, it's totally cool 
and and encouraged in my my view to have unanswered questions at the mm-hmm. end of a movie. Like I love that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, do. I am a fan of that, uh, and I do like I like movies where everything was a dream, and then it makes you question everything. Mm. Like I I enjoy being left in and, the dark. And on the other, it's just I'm jumping across the aisle. So yeah, I'm the guest. <laughs> I can do that. Right. Um, on the other hand, we I need think a mediator. I would have liked more. Uh, this is crazy sounding, but. It, it seemed like they were towing the line in between answering questions and not answering them. Right. And I wanted I wanted them to commit to one. Like, uh, I'm not a movie director, but I was thinking this movie would have been really neat had they, if the question that they left unanswered was, uh, was, was it the mirror or not? Mm. As opposed to, you know. Or it's, just it's, our it's, human nature. Exactly. Was yeah. it just, was it just Tim uh, mm-hmm. losing it again yeah you know, that i would have i thought oh, that would have been a neat yeah, idea that been maybe fun. tim was just schizophrenic uh, yeah. this whole time yeah yeah it yeah. could have been mm-hmm. like because they set that they yeah. set that tone but anyway i i enjoyed it uh i would i would give it kind of a middle Grand yeah I, we so our boo ratings are like you know zero to five boos and i i say for me this would probably be like a 3.5 Okay. Yeah. I, it's not horrible. Like, I, I probably was ready to go in and thinking, like, this is going to be, like, one or two for me. But, um, yeah, I think, if anything, and I can't really necessarily hate a movie for one, leaving me for wanting more. Like, that's a good thing. So, because mm-hmm. the same thing. Like, I, I want more info and backstory on the mirror and on more character development. Like, because wh- even to me, I'm like, how was Tim in there for 10 fucking years? Yeah. Like, I'm like. I did, I did think that. I'm like, wouldn't, like, that took that long? Like, damn, like, and, really fucked up. Like, yeah. you know, like, maybe it wouldn't have been, like, a year or two and he would have released on good behavior. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know. Or, I don't know but how maybe it's because, of, but, like. Like Kaylee was in the foster system. Maybe they didn't want to release him into the foster system with the potential of him being a murderer. And mm. like maybe it was like an actual sentence that yeah. like even she had though, to carry out. Yeah. I think I think Kaylee specifically needed more depth. And I, I think uh she was a little bit one dimensional. Mm. I think the actor actress herself uh knocked it out of the park. I mm-hmm. think the character was a little one dimensional in that she uh uh, she was kind of just had the one motive the Narrow whole time. Mind. Yeah, yeah she was very laser focused. Yeah. yeah, and I think we it, if we saw a couple more scenes of her relationship being developed with her fiance, because like what fiance is going to fall in love with somebody who's just that obsessive mm-hmm. over their past? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know that's true. Um, but I sound like I hate it. No, no, <laughs> yeah. those are valid <laughs> observations and questions to have. Yeah, um, but also then it comes into like logic police and these are movies and exactly. like they gotta and you've got an hour find, and a half to to give somebody to eat some popcorn and enjoy themselves yeah, yeah. to escape because yeah. most movies could literally prop and especially horror movies could be solved in like five minutes if you're just like let's either not do that or do this yeah bury yeah. the mirror just like they did in jumanji yeah. that solves it for like 50 years <laughs> or so it. there you go it's no longer your problem it's someone else's problem exactly uh, well do y'all want some fun facts yes. before we get to the rest of our boo ratings yes please um Let's see. Had director Mike Flanagan agreed to film Oculus in the found footage genre, a number of studios would have backed it as early as 2006. However, Flanagan refused. I do think he had a little bit of a nod to the found footage genre with the cameras being set up and um, Mm -hmm. in place and like getting some of the film footage like. And that's very found footage movie, like whenever you're setting up cameras up and you're like and you testing one two three and explaining yeah. why, why we're doing this yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. like they had a reason for the camera being there mm-hmm. um so i think he probably was like fuck it i'll put in a little nod but um yeah found footage not for everybody um and i guess it wasn't for flanagan let's see this I think is really cool. Director Mike Flanagan has included the Oculus mirror as an Easter egg in most of his movies and mm. TV shows. It's in the mm. basement of Ouija, Origin of Evil, the headboard of Gerald's Game, which I'll Oof. I forgot that he did Gerald's Game. I've heard that's good. I've never seen it. Oh, it's really good. Yeah, mm. I like it. It's oh, okay. wild. Um, again, very it. much like what is happening. I didn't mm. realize that was Mike Flanagan. Me neither. Until I was looking up earlier this yeah. morning, uh, looking at what other things he had done. Um, and also a Stephen King book, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So he's yeah, done it's two. Stephen yeah. King. Um, and then the, let's see, it's the walls and the haunting of Hill house. 
I guess mm. uh, there's a nod to the Oculus mirror. And then the Overlook Hotel and Dr. Sleep mm. has mm-hmm. the mirror somewhere mm. in it. So That's I cool. would be curious to go back and rewatch all these things just looking for yeah. the Oculus mirror or the semblance of it. And the MFU, the Mike the Flanagan MFU universe. universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally. Um, this was Karen Gillan's first American role. Because oh, she is a cool. British actress, and uh, like I, didn't I said, she was in. That. She did good, good for yeah, her. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she was in Doctor Who, which is a British oh, television yeah. show. Mm-hmm. Um, she like a lead character, or like a yeah. She oh, was um, Doctor Who. No, she oh. didn't play the Doctor, but she played the Doctor's companion. Duh. They only just came out with the girl Doctor Who yes, like a year ago. The or first something. Yeah. female Doctor mm-hmm. just happened, mm-hmm. um, and now it's a gay Doctor. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Breaking barriers. Yep. Next year it's gonna be. Don't say it. You'll get canceled. A cat. <laughs> ghost, 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 supernatural ghost. barriers yes, being exactly. crossed. Yeah, yes. um, but let's see. Uh, oh, cool. Karen Gillan was the first choice to play Kaylee as Mike Flanagan was a big fan of her work in Doctor Who, mm. hey. and they filmed this movie in twenty four days. I can see that. I mean, it's only in a house, right? Only basically them two yeah. for the most of it. I Not could see many that. sets and stuff, mm-hmm. and just and even there's not that many like. Even like the apple scene or whatever, there's not that many like scenes where there's like deaths or like bloody stuff going and on. Really, for, like, yeah. mm-hmm. practical it's effects just a bunch and of stuff. Like, it's just them and their makeup, and they just ghosty scares, mm-hmm. yeah, and jump scares, yeah, and building a lot of tension. Um, that's cool. No, the, the, that's really cool because they really twenty four days. That's a really fast turnaround for a movie. I wonder how long yeah. it like did in editing and all that. Like they were like, we made this movie in two months. Yeah. <laughs> like production, edit, do, all. Do you have the uh, what what it cost to make the movie in there? Um, you don't have to find that. I was just see. curious. Like, no, it's usually with that attached. Short of a, it's usually attached somewhere real fast. If we just go to like the IMBD or the wiki. IMB day. It was f- made with, I got you. Okay, great. $5 million was the budget. That's super low. For and, it, and it made $44 million, so it profited hey, pretty well. There we go. Yeah. Way to go, Mike. For a horror movie and for production companies, WWE Studios, you know, I guess that's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Way to go. That's, hold on. I'm, I'm going to the filmography. So, <laughs> oh, was there a wrestler in this movie that we just didn't know about? Because I guess apparently they fund movies that the wrestlers are in. The oh. Scorpion King, The Raw, like The Walking Tall, See No Evil, That's Kane. I wonder if, the he Marine, was, if there John was one Cena. like a producer or something. Maybe. Why Steve, is Steve Oculus Aust- a WWE film? Steve Austin is the condemned. It's like they're all their wrestlers. Randy Orton. Okay. Triple H. The item was recovered from the Levesque estate, a reference to WWE wrestler Triple H, whose real name was Paul Michael Levesque. That's. But why? That was, <laughs> but like, why? It's, they needed, you know what? There was like six opening credit things, like mm-hmm. uh, production studios, and they probably needed like, you know, another $250,000 or something. And they so, were like, if y'all give us this much, we'll, we'll mention Triple H. <laughs> no, but yeah, if you look at like all the movies that they're related to, if there's anything, if they're not like WWE film things, like they're movies that they're wrestlers. So Triple H is in the Mike Flanagan universe is what we're saying. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. My sister will love to hear that. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to tell my friend Ryan. He loves wrestling. And... He'll probably think that's cool. But yeah, so that is Oculus. What uh, if you had to give it or do you want to go last? Do you want to go after me or? I'll go, I'll go first. Okay. That way y- y- y'all, we can end on a mm-hmm. little sandwich. On a credibility. Yeah, you have more credibility as a host. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I originally had written three. After discussing it with y'all, I realized there was more things that I enjoyed about it than I had previously thought immediately after. So I did three and a half as well. I think three and a half is a fair score uh, from my perspective. Okay, cool. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to say about the film in general Uh, or like favorite scene or? um, So uh, I I enjoyed the the mirror within. I I love mirror logistics. 
Mm. Uh, so like filming in front of a mirror means there's a lot of like offs, off, mm. offhand shot and things like that. Yeah. I love how they handled that. I love the hugging across the mirrors and yeah, things that like was that. Cool. Um, yeah, overall, I think there's a lot of, a lot of cool effects. I love the simplicity of the film as far as, um, and how it's filmed. I, I think a lot about the background and how things are made. So yeah, I, there's a lot of really great stuff. I don't know about a favorite scene. Maybe the apple. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, the, I'd have to say that's one of my favorite scenes. Yeah, that was too. a nice little horror. It sticks pull. with you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What stuck with me is when they're looking at the video playback of the thing falling on her and she's just like. Yeah. 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 Maybe yeah, they foreshadowed back. hard with that. Oh, anchor. yeah. I'm thinking, like, I was thinking it's going to be one of them. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, because, like, uh, definitely, like, whenever they're showing the two of them in front of the mirror and stuff facing it, and, like, you're like, oh, God, that little yacht anchor can come down at any time and kill them. And, Terrifying. yeah, they, there was a lot of foreshadowing for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, Five. I think I'll give it a five. Hey, give <laughs> I it a like five. it. Um, I thought everything in this film was really good. Um, I enjoyed all the acting. I thought Karen Gillan did a great job playing somebody who was um, super obsessed and like laser focused and hyper focused. Um, I think personally, I didn't need much more character development from her. Like, I just assumed that this was part of like now that she finally found the mirror, it kind of like kickstarted her obsession again. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like maybe that she wasn't like, she was always searching for it, but like maybe that was how her fiance came to actually fall in love with her was like, yeah. because like, you know, she wasn't hyper-focused on it at that time, but like was still always in, it was in the back of her mind searching for it, but she was able to live a normal life mm-hmm. Otherwise, that's why she chose the profession she chose and like, yeah. everything. Mm-hmm. And so like it, it led her and guided her throughout her life. But I don't know if it like always was that I, I just kind of put I made like my own backstory for her, I guess, <laughs> where she like wasn't always so obsessed with it or obsessed or, with it. Yeah. Or and, it wasn't at the forefront, essentially. Yeah. 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 And so um, for me, I thought like. I think she just did a great job. Like, cause then I still got some like little notes of her, like caring for her brother and like, like in the hug that they shared whenever he first gets out, like there's a lot of emotion in it. And so I was like, Oh, she's like a good big sister. But then like, you know, this thing did kill her parents. And if something killed my parents, like I would probably not be able to move past that really well either. Mm -hmm. Um, so to me, like I thought, it all kind of made sense. And, um, I thought like the guy who played Tim did a really great job as well. Mm -hmm. The dad, like he did play this like really good descent absorbed, like getting absorbed into Mm -hmm. this mirror and did a great job of like, like all, I just thought all the acting was really good Mm -hmm. from the mother. Like you said, her descent into animalistic tendencies Mm -hmm. and, um, I I thought that the idea of being manipulated by an antique as an owner of many antiques yeah. was uh, rather fascinating and terrifying. It did have me a little bit like afterwards I um, like went into the bathroom and was like walked past my mirror and I was like, <laughs> no. Ugh. And it then I started lingered. thinking about my antique mirror and was like, Oh God, like get some sage. Have I that. fucked up? <laughs> and like, this was one of the first times, like I was actually afraid of like an antique and mm-hmm. one in particular, like you always see like antiques are haunted and stuff like that. Yeah. And you know, I've got some haunted dolls and things and, um, but that was one of the first times where I like laser pointed kind of to a specific antique that I have and like mm-hmm. was a little bit afraid of it. It made me scared. Can't be so too safe. I thought I thought it did a great job. I thought it like did what it intended to do, which was scare me mm-hmm. and had me thinking about it after the movie was done. Cause normally I'd turn off a horror movie and I'm like, that's done. Okay. That's it. It's yeah. done yeah. now on to different parts of my life. Mm-hmm. And this time it actually lingered in the back of my mind. And I was like, Ooh, I had to feel like there was that's someone good. behind me watching me yeah. or something. And so I was scared. Um, that's how Mungo made me feel. 
like Mungo for some reason. Yeah. It wasn't even that scary, but like it, it made gave you feel me like that someone was watching eerie, you. dreadful feeling. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I just, I thought they did a fantastic job story wise. I liked all the slipping in between reality and mm -hmm. the questioning of what in the fuck is actually happening. Um, I thought that was all super good. I, um, I just appreciate the film mm -hmm. and what it stood for and what it did. I remember really liking this film whenever I first saw it and I still watched it again today and was like, good. I was, I honestly was expecting to dislike it a little yeah. bit. Um, right. Because uh, knowing of you like not liking it and I was like, Oh, maybe I just remembered this completely wrong right? Nar. kind of thing. And then um, with watching it again, I did, I was like, no, I still like this. I still think it's really cool. I was a super huge fan of Haunting of Hill House Ooh, and yeah. Haunting of Bly Manor. Mm -hmm. But Haunting of Hill House was like, Ooh. in particular, like that one really freaked me out. It also made me have panic attacks. Ooh. I had to like pause Haunting of Hill House a few times because it You're was so like, freaked out. yeah, like it was like triggering some things in me mm. that it was just like, Ugh. like yeah. it was making me freak out. Yeah. And so, um. I, I be honest, I haven't watched like Midnight Mass and stuff. Ooh. I've been wanting to. It's been one of my favorites I've watched of anything horror genre. Great. And there, there is a really great kind of like disposition uh, or deposition type uh, situation happening between these two characters that are discussing religion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it is it just ties so beautifully into the story and just it's but by all means i've heard I lots would say of it's really things. scary to yeah. be honest with you uh, i think it's more character driven yeah, and it's, development it's, yeah. it's, it's honestly a, a beautiful series yeah, yeah. And, and like not a lot of people do that in horror so i would 100 percent recommend I think that it's more or less it's kind of more of a commentary on like overzealous and like religion and like overzealous people and like yeah. that kind of stuff and it felt like a like the, the more really of like good, the horror of real life yeah because yeah, mm -hmm. it oh 100 whenever it came out i remember the trailer for it was very uh reminiscent of what was happening in real life too mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. time with like politically mm -hmm. and people being charged supercharged one yeah. way or the other and um so and that, kate siegel kills it in that yeah. as well yeah. yeah i'll have to i'll definitely have to watch it it's always been on my uh like list of things it's to perfect watch time to watch yeah i'll yeah. have to actually bust it out and, and do i'd say it. like even like the horror element part of it is like more like like not even horror. it's like giving sci-fi almost i yeah. would say um in a bit leading like, fantasy fantasy a bit. A bit. Yeah. yeah more or less but i think saying anymore but, might get into spoiler too, yeah sorry. okay uh -huh. i'll just watch it yeah but um yeah so i'm a big fan of what mike flanagan has done i love gerald's game never saw a ouija um Ouija. 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 You sound like Ouija. Trump. He's trying to like Trump when he was like, I never seen a Ouija. I've never seen a Ouija. China. Board. China. 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 A Ouija. A Ouija. I've um, had the best Ouija board of all. <laughs> the best Ouija board. You should have seen it. Yeah. Then they took it away from me. I was stolen. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. Um, but yeah. So I think I think for me it's just a five. I think it was just a good. five just, just a five just, just a five. five out of five just a five it was perfect um but a five and a 3.5 plus a 3.5 make a 4.5 4. right no, no i'd say like a four i got it two three point fives really math. lowers that i'd say probably a four it's 9.6 <laughs> <laughs> Damn, this lie. is a good movie. The math does not lie. <laughs> Stop. This movie got even better than our normal it's rating. Twice system. as good as the normal rating. <laughs> the more I go, the higher the number gets. So, no, like, what, uh, three, four, so seven. What's it's seven probably, plus five? Twelve. It's probably divided like, by three. So it's a four on average. Like a yeah, four. I think yeah. a four. I think four. Um, I'm like in nine point six. Nine point six. Nine point six. The it math was, doesn't lie. You were right. It was actually way better than we thought it was. Um, it was all altered reality. <laughs> <laughs> 
the, the mirror, mirror says did 10. That. Yeah, the mirror says 10. The literally. mirror said, yeah, it's all the mirror. Oh, uh, that's do, funny. Do, 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 oh, well, um, but yeah, as always. We're in the lovely Rogue Media Network studio. Uh, they take really good care of us and uh, allow us the opportunity to provide these horror-tastic shows to you guys. And if y'all have chances to check out any of their other shows, there's so many, probably something for any of your other uh, interests and hobbies and like literally all kinds of, there was like over 150 something podcasts. I think yeah, last time I heard so, so I think there's so many more now. Um, but you can check those all out at rogue network.com. That's right. And if you want to listen to us or any of those other amazing podcasts, you can do so on a slew of podcasting platforms, but the biggest two would be Apple and also Spotify, mm-hmm. but wherever you do listen, don't forget to rate review, like, and subscribe. That's right. Cause that is the only way we can get ahead in this world. And then if you want to reach out to us, let us know your thoughts on Oculus. If you thought it was great film, if you thought it was subpar, if you hated it and mm-hmm. didn't gain any more liking from it, from hearing our little discussion on it, um, reach out to us on our one social media platform, which is Instagram. And that is at, and that's at B O O B A E S. Cause we're your boo bays, not your boo babes. That's right. And then if you want to also find Thurman, Mm-hmm. and everything you want to go ahead and plug yeah, yeah, all yeah. your stuff now so again my band is called the fox and the crow uh we have uh socials on all your standards you know instagram mm-hmm. all that uh normally at the fox and the crow official uh and uh we just released a single uh called deer stand um and if you like spooky stuff if you like storytelling uh it's right up that alley yeah. um yeah it was it, very like it a storytelling wove a story yeah yeah and uh we we have an album we released last um uh, last fall called amerigo uh if you if you like these kinds of stories you might listen to breath and leaves that's a really nice little song and it's uh anyway yeah, really great no. and then we've got another single coming out in uh in uh on november 8th called swoon and then an ep mm. in december so that's exciting nice. go Lots follow of us it's all yeah. rolling out yeah we're, and yeah. we'll post his socials on our instagram too so yeah. that way you can easily find and check it out them. and um, give a listen uh, yeah. i've got a link tree that might be the easy way to oh do that. okay yeah yeah that's it's like so much not my more first rodeo <laughs> <laughs> no that's really um, cool but yeah and the song is good. Deer Sand, I listen to it. And you can find um, The Fox and the Crow on Spotify as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but which the link, like the link trees on in your Spotify bio or Instagram bio, right? Yeah, it's on our Instagram bio. You can also, you can listen wherever you want to listen. Um, mm-hmm. All the places. Yeah, it's even on Tidal. Spotify. Deezer, Pornhub. All, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, not there yet. They won't <laughs> I'm too scared to take my pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, haven't sold your soul just yet. Not yet. No, not yet. Uh, that's awesome though. Um, but yes, let's be sure to check them out. And, um, what, what else are we checking out? Is that it? I, got anything else to plug? I don't have anything else to plug right now. But if you're in Dallas, go shop Love Lady. That's right. Yeah. If you're in Dallas, come shop in my store. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I think that is all. So until next time. Until next time, you guys. Bye, bays. Bye, bays. been a Rogue Media Network production. Are you a podcaster? Let's talk podcast hosting. Are you tired of your current podcast host? Need real support in a community that gets it? At Rogue Media Network, we offer top-tier podcast hosting services to help you thrive. From hosting and distribution to dedicated support, we've got you covered. Starting as low as $25 a month. Join our community of passionate podcasters today. Contact us at hello at roguemedianetwork.com.